All right, let me open this up. I feel like everyone's already played it already, so I'm like the only one that doesn't know what this is about and know what happens. Shush. Mm. Quarry is spiritual successor to Until Dawn, according to the devs. Yeah, apparently it's worse too, so that's cool. I'm pumped. Love it. Mm. Play. Call your father. It's Father's Day. I talked to my dad just a bit ago. Told him I love him. Yay. Apparently, Father's Day is like the 20th. Number 20 in like celebrated holidays. Mother's Day is number two. It's fucked up. Mm. Mine's dead. Oh, that sucks. Enter, I agree. Is it like, like what kind of music are they fucking playing? I guess I'm streamer mode. Very good. Settings. The fuck? Kind of, oh, backspace. I was hitting escape. All right. As we go, just told me that no one cares about me and everything's my fault. All right. Think of the donation. Movie mode. New, what is movie mode? Watch from a selection of predefined outcomes. Oh, my God. That don't know it was yesterday. Why did I just read it then? Why did it just pop up? Why do you know that? New game. free music or is this like the one song that's not copyright that they made for this Why'd you kill the music? I think you know why. Um, <laughs> I don't think I do. Begins with it. Ugh. 
Oh god, what is this fucking close up? Um settings. Subtitles on an L? Like the L word? Lesbians? Lost, Max. We're lost. We're just we're in geographic flux. Right, so Is lesbian lost. offensive? That's debatable. I don't know. Is that an offensive thing for people? No? I, I don't know. Take a moment to consider the following, as it will guide you through the various twists and turns that may appear during your That's stay the at Nekka's quarry. I thought, quarry. I thought you, what you just see called here are quick gay. time events, or QTEs, which will help you to act at just like the right like time. The whatever. I don't Watch your step. I thought. I don't know quarry things. can be a dangerous place if you're not paying attention to your surroundings. Take your eye off the ball, and it could spell disaster. The path you tread is yours to choose, but that doesn't mean there won't be obstacles along the way. Oh, heads up! Yeah, honey, nice catch! Thank you. Ugh, don't ever smile. Yeah, the roads are definitely getting the world's worse a better place when you're not it's opening your mouth. summer camp experience. Oh, right. That's where we're going. I lost track like 200 It's like their fucking ago. teeth and ago, eyes huh? are trying, like, this hate yeah. their existence and don't want to be a part of their body. You know, a Max like, They're not okay. meant to be inside that any school. Less of a man. You know, if Columbus hadn't gotten lost and landed on these golden shores, there would be no United States of America. Goodbye, hot dogs. See you later, apple pie. Columbus never actually landed in North America. What are you talking about? Didn't even know he wasn't in Asia. Are you serious? Just another guy who didn't want to admit he was lost. Well, just another guy who's got a whole day named after him, so put that in your pipe and smoke it. Oh my god. Okay, just get us to camp already before I roll my eyes out of my head, please. <laughs> working they, on it. I'm working hey, on it. I, they don't want it in that face, I'm telling you. What? What the fuck? Leaflet or map? Fuck it, take the leaflet. Were there any directions on the flyer? No, just a fake bunch of kids faking it around a fake fire Fuck pit. the map, who cares? Checks out. Everything oh. okay? Yeah, all good. We're dead. How long are you gonna look hey, back there? eyes on the road, mister. Oh. What's the the moose challenge for like cars? Skirt, skirt, skirt. You know, this car failed. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. I mean, still in one piece. For the moose Jesus test. Jesus Christ! What do you think that was? A bear? What? No, no, Max. It wasn't a bear. What was it? You think it was a person? Oh, are you serious? Do you think we had a person? I don't know. I mean, it was really cl close, like really close, but maybe we didn't. What is it? I really have this car up. Well, maybe it looks worse than it is. Uh. I should check out the damage before we try to start it up again, huh? Could you grab my, uh, the, the toolbox from the trunk? Yeah, yeah, okay. No one in this day and age that is this young knows what the fuck they're doing when they lift the hood of that car. <sighs> Great. That's not true. <laughs> It's not so bad. 
My mom's gonna kill me. Okay. What am I supposed to do? Snoop? Oh. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Can you imagine working for the college? <laughs> Actually stamping a rejected, like, big red stamp on everyone's paper. <laughs> Just... <laughs> what is this? Thanks, hon. Yeah. Do you need a hand? Yeah, actually, if you could just shine a light right here. Here you go. Perfect, thank you. The sooner we get out of here, the better. Just picture yourself curling up in front of a big old fire pit singing campfire sing-alongs. I don't think people curl up right in front of big old fire pits. Why not? Uh, they don't want to catch on fire. And then picture yourself curling up in front of a big old space heater. Well, anywhere is better than here. Mr. Handyman knows how to fix a car. Oh. Wow. What the fuck? Are these two just intro characters that just die? Where are you going? And then... Just over here? The query. Just you Stay know. there for a second, okay? I'm almost done. Um, define, are you my boss? Compliant? Yeah, I'm compliant. God, Max, hurry up! What's going on? I'm worried that there's somebody down there. Are you serious? Yeah, that is. they could be hurt. I don't know. I didn't think we actually hit anyone. Well, I don't know. I just, I heard something, okay? Like a, a woman... Do you think we hit her? I just want to check it out. Okay. All right. Just don't go too far, okay? Be careful. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> okay. Luck with the car. Okay. A girl who needed help going down those steps should not be going out here. Just saying. Like, that was not hard. You could have just jumped. But. I guess we're going out by herself now. Clue discover. The harem's... Grotum poster. I'm viewing it. Okay, apparently I'm not viewing it. We're speed walking. Holy shit, choices. Let's go left. I see a chest. Oh my god, massive loot. Kinky. Okay. There's a bullet vest in there. Put it on. You're kidding, right? No. Is that not a fucking... It's a straight jacket? Oh. I thought it was like an armor increase. Alright, we're leaving. Kill me, hurry up. Old hag. Silence. 
You're missing so much. Wait, really? No way. That was kind of creepy. It's okay. I swear it's to God, I've never seen there's this. There's a lot of stuff out there. There's animals. It's easy to freak yourself out. No. Can we just leave? Please? Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go. Okay. Oh, we fixed it. You all right? Yes, there we go. Fern like a kid. Max, come on. Here we go. Here we go. We're getting out of here. Like a kid? Are you kidding me? Max! I just, okay, give me a minute, give me a minute. We've got to go, Laura, Max! Why you're not helping right now. Can you just, I am trying to get us out of here. All right, just... enough! Shit, I'm sorry. You're trying to get us out of here? I'm you're sorry. not doing it. God. Okay, it's okay. My words! We need a winch. We're okay. We're safe in the car, really. We're gonna be okay. Jesus! Oh, ah! fuck. Oh my God, my heart just exploded. Roll it down. Mm. Hi, officer. How are you doing this evening? Mm. Are either of you injured? Really, we're fine. We're just a little shaken up. Mm -hmm. Well, you folks want to tell me what happened here? Yeah. I mean, just say it honest. It's an officer. We, um, uh, something jumped out right in front of the car and we didn't want to hit it, so we swerved and, you know, here we are. Something jumped out? It was dark. Uh, I'm sorry, it was, it was so dark and it happened so fast and they were gone. I don't know. They? Ma'am, did you hit someone? No, no, God, no, of course not. You know, I mean, I don't think so. I don't, I don't know. Sir? Get the car running. Sir? Is this kind of like the all-time scariest con? I don't know. This is my first con. What, like ever? Uh, yeah, I'm not a criminal. That's just how cops are. They don't trust people as they probably should be. <laughs> Gotta keep authority. Now you folks wanna tell me just what in the hell you are doing all the way out here this late at night. Heading to camp? We're heading up to Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp. Mm. We're new counselors. You're one night early. No, no, we know. Um, but we figured we'd get in early and scope it out. You know, mm. I mean, they know we're coming. We called ahead. And to be honest, sir, one of us kind of oversold their navigation skills and got us completely lost. Mm. 
you're not gonna make it to Haggett's quarry. Is that not blood tonight. on his neck? What? You see that shit? Harbinger Motel. It's the nearest place you can what bunk up there for the night. Okay. Uh, I think we're just gonna stick to the plan, sir. I mean, Mr. Hackett knows we're coming, and we called ahead. No, ma'am. You're gonna head to the Harbinger Motel. Do you understand? Okay, why not the quarry? With all due respect, sir, why can't we go to Hackett's quarry? Because I told you to go to the motel. Okay, I, I just don't understand what the problem is. Ma'am, please step out of the vehicle. Whoa. What? Uh, what? Officer, she didn't do anything. Ma'am, if you wouldn't mind stepping out of the vehicle, I, gotta I would poop just so like to bad. show you a route on your map there. Okay. For sure. Son? Remain in the vehicle. It's okay. It's okay. Not... Okay. I would just start beating the shit out of her. It's wet. Oh my god, the map's ruined. Why would you? Okay. So we. What? All right, about here. What the fuck? Harbinger Motel is here. Right, okay, and where was Hackett's quarry again? Well, I'm sure the fine folks at the Harbinger Motel can guide you there first thing in the morning. I bet the quarry is all fucked up and has evil spirits, and he knows about it and he's protecting us, even though he's a weird freak. I gotta poop so bad. Harbinger Motel. Stay on the road. Wait, but, but what if there's someone out there? Yeah, I'll have a look. Good night. Cop car looks busted. Why is this guy just sitting there? Uh, do I have time? All right, I'll be right back. I gotta go poop. Uh. Now he? Hey chat. Come here often. Peepo shy.
hooted. Um, that guy was weird. Thanks for all your help. Uh, relieved. That guy was giving me major weirdo vibes. The dude vibes. needed, like, at least a dozen shots. Oh my god, I know. What was up with the thing? Did I you see was, that? Was it <gasps> blood? I saw that. Nice to meet you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. <sighs> Alright. Let's get back on the road. Yes. I think I've had enough woodland encounters for one night. Thank you very much. Agreed. So where's this motel? Okay, so we're here. Mm -hmm. And the motel is here. Okay. But we're going here. What's there? Hackett's quarry. How'd you do that? I don't know. I kind of tricked him into showing me. <laughs> very slick. Are you sure we shouldn't just get to the motel and just listen to this guy's advice? Honey, you really want uh, to listen he... to the advice of some creep ass cop who told us in the middle hey, of the creep ass woods? If to you go want to, to enterprise, resource planning, hit me. No, that up. sounds terrible. Yeah. Let's hit the road, shall we? That's what, what I fuck, thought. Fuck, ma'am. Oh my god. If he called me ma'am one more time, I was going to shove that badge up his dick hole. <laughs> Seriously, do I look like a man to you? I got like 20 years before I'm a ma'am. Mm hmm. What? I... What? 20s. Debatable. Easy. I mean, I'm kind of into mams. Okay, we're done here. <laughs> the fuck is he supposed to say? I'm annoyed. You gotta be kidding me. There's nobody here. We drive all the way the fuck out Max, here. Max, can we just look around before we jump to conclusions? Did you actually even talk to Mr. Hackett or did you just leave a message? Well, what's the difference? This. This is the difference. She's fucking stupid. I hate her. Hello? I don't feel bad when she dies. I guess he doesn't check his voicemail. How was I supposed to know that? I mean... Clearly there's somebody here. Yeah, or it's just an abandoned car and this is a complete waste Why of time. Why would there be an abandoned- How are you gonna not tell him that no one answered? He actually believed there was someone here Max, waiting the whole time. Come on. And she didn't say Max, shit until literally dead. they got there. I'm sorry. There. I'm sorry. Oh, now he's a dick. Okay. If you're gonna be rebellious and all that jazz, at least fucking fill him in. Jesus Christ. Is anybody home? Oh, God. Is that a... Is this light on? Why does it seem like there's a light on inside? Am I ridiculous? Oh. <gasps> I see a key. You see that? I mean, am I supposed to be checking this shit out? I feel like I'm not. All right, going back to the car. We're leaving. Back to the hotel. Do 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 do. But there's a shiny. Hang on. What is this? Can this flashlight do a little more AOE? It's like a fucking lightsaber. Fun. What doesn't kill you will make you stronger. This feels like a massive misplay.
I don't know, you just said tools. Why didn't you just bring the... Look, there's someone in there. Uh, I'm not seeing anyone. What? No, look. I'm looking, I am. Let me see. I hope they get stabbed in the eye. There, there was definitely someone there. Okay, so... Okay, so... Oh. Hammer or wrenches? I don't fucking know which. I'm gonna do the wrenches because I want to see what they do with about about the lock with a wrench. What are you, you sure? gonna do with this thing? Confident. I saw it online. I don't. Yeah. Go ahead. Saw it online. Oh God. Let's see what they do. Okay. You need a hand? Yeah. <laughs> Lock picking lawyer? Oh, shit. Apparently that's a thing. All right. You see the props are props are due. Hello? She's still a bitch. Are you hurt? Do you exist? Hey, be careful. Oh, that's not even sexist. She's just an annoyingly written character. Ian, is that a dog collar? Oh. Bloodied collar. Hmm. All right, werewolves. Oh. Max. Stop, fucking stop. Dip. Loot the fucking blood. The... Okay, I can't apparently go there, so. Dead end, can't go that way. Hun, maybe it was a possum or something. No, there was, there was someone here, I swear. Hey, it's been kind of a night, you know? Let's just get to the motel. We can come back the here first thing in the morning. We can check everything out. Door's closing behind him. Watch. I mean, you must be exhausted. I know I am. Oh, man. I think our imagination... <laughs> Max? Max! Don't tell... No. Don't leave me with just her. I mean, help him. Use your 
use your legs. Oh, man. I guess it's hard. Does he this look like the goddamn Harbinger Motel to you? Every little movement, every little thing you do. I would have went to the hotel. I would have listened. It, it just didn't let me choose. That commands my heart to love you. Every little movement, every motion of your Title draft, yep. Is that it? Mm. Potions? Mm. Oh, is this that... Uh... Hello, my friend. Welcome to the show. We are friends, aren't we? I've waited for you. I've waited, yes. So I do hope our time together proves enlightening. There's no need to worry. I'm here to help you. Think of me as your guide into the unknown. It's exciting, yes, and terrifying, but if you're brave enough, if you let me help you, I can help you. We can help each other. You didn't find anything, and so I've nothing to show you. You need to look harder. The cards are out there. If you don't help me, how can I help you? We're supposed to be friends. You said so yourself. Search harder. Only you can find them. What cards? There are secrets out there, you know. Secrets and lies. Paths to uncover on which I can shed light, if you let me. Help me help you. And remember, what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. That's not true. You cut my arm off, I won't die, but I'm not stronger. Love. See you later, kids. Yeah, Hackett's Quarry forever. <laughs> what? You know how many hearts are broken on the last day of summer camp? It's like a romance apocalypse. 
Reflective, cynical, they'll get over it. I don't care. Yeah, well, I mean, they're just kids. You know, they'll get over it. Uh huh. Like they'll get over Emma? What? No, that's not the same thing. Isn't she from the Disney oh, so Channel? That's not why you're in a bad mood. I'm not in a bad oh mood. <laughs> you know what? We had her last night together, and we're cool. Oh, yeah. So cool that you're never going to see your special little boo boo bear ever again. Jeez, Brent, you heard that? Oh, come on, dude. The cabin walls are made of band aids and rat turds. <laughs> okay, I get it. <laughs> okay, quit it. Hi, Emma. Hey. Okay, this is, um... You've heard of spatial awareness before, yeah. right? Spatial awareness is for nerds. Uh, be a lamb and grab the last couple of bags, will ya? Yes, boss. Say hi to Emma for me. You're a bad person. Yes, I am. Mm. Okay. I'm beelining it straight to the homie. So is this before or after? I don't know. <clears throat> After, okay. Hey, what do you uh what do you listen to? Hey, it's that Pokemon kid. With Ryan Reynolds. Wow. Detective P Pikachu. That's right. Jesus Christ. Hey. Hey, are you guys gonna help with the bags or what? Oh, um, you know, I was actually just working on fixing uh, the door. It's Dylan, come it's on. Broken. Dylan, please. I can't. It's, it's, I gotta get the last bags What's in there. Come wrong on. with this thing? It's just Dylan, closing. please. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Cool, thanks, guys. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> it's closed. <laughs> so did we, like... Are we camp counselors and the kids just left? Okay. This camp looks like it sucks ass. <sighs> Tight, dude. Ugh. Horror. I hate horror. Yeah, this camp blows dicks. Actually, you know what? This is a nice cafeteria. This is actually pretty sick. Anyways. Probably arts and crafts. Probably don't even have dodgeball. We're a blob in the lake, so you can, like, you know, fling the smallest kid with the fattest kid. Okay, really, dude? Locking me out? Okay, in my defense, A, it was Dylan's idea, and idea. two, it was really funny. Mm. Oh, yeah, right. Is that is that right? I don't write the rules, man. Okay, whatever. Look, are you going to help me with the bags or what? No, nah, i got to stay here and wait for Mr. H to return our cell phone. Sorry. Jesus Christ. Okay, and why are the stairs blocked? Well, apparently it's to keep raccoons and other pesky varmints from ransacking the place. Uh, Mr. H's words, not mine. Oh! Boring. Huh. Okay, door is immune to opening. What am I looking for? What's my quest? More block stairs. Yeah, okay.
All right. Got the bags. Great. All by yourself, huh? Yep. Guess you're gonna have to get used to that. Oh my god, you are so mean. <laughs> At least I'm honest. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, you're not telling me the whole truth about you and Emma, are you, son? Mind your own business, bitch. Okay, I'm gonna need you to back all the way out of my business, Caitlin. <laughs> well, excuse me for trying to help. How is making me feel shitty about being dumped supposed to help? Aha, uh -huh, the plot thickens. She took out the trash. What? No. Uh -huh. mm, wait, check that. First, she cleaned the house. Then, she took out the trash. Then, she washed her hands. Bye-bye, Jake. Now, she's a trash of single, clean hands, ready to mingle. Are you, are you finished? <laughs> oh, I could go all day. Yeah, no thanks. Nope. Man, you're starting to bum me out, Jake. Well, I... Yeah, you know, I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, you're one sorry how, motherfucker, ain't how, you? How, how am I apologizing? Okay, well, what? at least I went for it this summer. Uh, my bad. What's my that fault. supposed to mean? Oh, uh, Ryan. Uh, what about him? He's a guy at this camp who just happens to have this whole hot, sexy loner thing that totally doesn't do anything for me at all. Oh, and the plot thickens. <sighs> So she really just dumped you just like that? Well, technically no, but you know, she realized that she has her plans and um, I have my plans and it wasn't gonna work after today, you know? And today's already over, isn't it? And you didn't wanna try like long distance or whatever? <laughs> Man, she has got you wrapped all the way around that cute little finger of hers. <laughs> Defeated. Okay, okay, you know what? Maybe you're right. Maybe she does have, like, this superpower over me. But you know what? Maybe I like it. <laughs> oh, likes it. Check. Totally not in denial. Oh, Check. Okay. Wow, the, um, the fumes of, of jealousy are just stifling over here. Excuse me? I'm just saying, I guess some girls don't have what it takes to hang with the big dog. You're Ugh. a real charmer, you know that? Uh, confident. You know what? Double, double down. That's right. Because I could charm the pants off a snake. That's maybe the dumbest thing you've ever said. No, no, I've definitely said dumber. Yep. Okay, so are we sure that this old rust bucket's roadworthy? It's hats backwards. <laughs> Take a look. It better be. One more night in the great outdoors might actually kill me. Hey, it doesn't kill you. Will make, make you stronger. stronger. Well, I haven't killed Katie you Perry. yet, and you're still pretty pathetic. Hey, shut up! <clears throat> uh, okay, so um, total hypothetical, but if I was like a huge asshole and I wanted to break down the van so we'd have to spend another night here, uh, what exactly would I need to do? Well, you'd probably break the fuel line, or I don't know, rip out the rotor arm. And yes, that would make you a total asshole. Okay, and what does a rotor arm look like again? It's like an arm that's all rotary. You know, it's under the little black dome with the leads poking out. Jake, you do realize that even if we somehow did get stuck out here, one more night with Emma wouldn't make a difference. Trust me, Chick's made up her mind. Yeah. Sure. Guess we'll just have to find out. Kidding me. <sighs> Break the fuel line or steal the rotor arm. I mean, I don't fucking know. I feel like stealing the rotor arm might be the better thing because couldn't you just put it back? I don't know anything about cars. Breaking something is bad. Stealing is like, okay, let's put it back. Right? Steal the rotor arm. 
If he breaks something off, I don't know what this means. I, I don't know anything about cars. What is there? Isn't she gonna know? I, I, I just. Come on with me, buddy. That's a rotor arm? What is that? A fucking right switch? Back tomorrow. No harm, no foul. Up here, my dudes. Why do they look like they're up to something? Hey, Jacob. What? No, dude, please. Go don't. Long. Oh, Nick! I'm not gonna catch it. <laughs> Jackass. Oh, come on, man! I'm so sorry, Jacob. Rough. Learn hey, from maybe, your mistakes. Uh, you should have put it in airplane mode. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, shit. There's no service out here anyways. Up, man? Shut the fuck up. Oh, yeah, no, no doubt, no doubt. <laughs> God damn, my mom's gonna kill me. <laughs> your mom? Oh, yeah, to, uh, to tell her I say hi. <laughs> I'll pay to fix it as soon as we're back, man. Well, it's bricked. Crap. Oh, thank God. Huh. Not a peep. Hmm? Either got zero signal, or everybody's already forgotten I exist. Meh. Nah, you know what? Whatever. I can go one more day without a phone. Day? The drive's not that far. You know what I mean. Where's everybody else? Why, why would I know that? Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know stuff I don't. Look, I don't, I don't even know how to respond to that. You say, Nick, you're way smarter than me, and you're a super hot stud who gets any chick he wants. Okay, yeah, keep dreaming, Junior. <laughs> All right, I don't like any character yet, so I'm good with bricking this entire playthrough. Um, I assume it's like until dawn, I have a choice to get them all killed. I'm good with that. Like the depressed emo chick that likes drawing. Hey there, party bear. Status report? We are officially empty nesters. High five what up top. What is that necklace? No. Oh, too slow. Really? Oh boy. You're about to get your phone back, aren't you? Let's go collect our bags and away from this mosquito-infested backwoods dump. Doors locked, bags inside. <sighs> Fuck me. Yep. Well, it's obvious what we have to do here. Find someone with a key? Shape our destiny. Then by shape our destiny, I mean shape our way through this crappy lock and grab our bags. Break in. Just leave the bags. Are you serious? That's called breaking and entering. No, that's called retrieving our lawfully owned possessions. Why don't we just find Mr. Hackett and have him open it back up? Abby, come on. Our stuff is like three feet away. Mm, sorry. No. As soon as we get back to the lodge, we'll find Mr. Hackett and have him help us get our bags. Fine. I'm, uh... Okay, well... Well, fine. I'm just gonna do a quick sweep then to make sure we didn't forget anything. Knock yourself I just threw up. up my... I just threw up. What the fuck? Emma thinks that you're overreacting. Emma's also a bitch, so it doesn't matter. Oh, I gotta use my mouse. Okay. Uh, so I'm doing a sweep, right? Okay. Dylan is not gonna be happy that the case was not this year. <laughs> I'll tell Chris about it when we see him. Don't, okay, get never go up the stairs again. Should I just go on the swing? Can I play? What's this? Tutorial unlock evidence something Ouch. something. So Jacob hasn't seen this.
What the fuck? It's a fart jar. Uh, ew. Ew, what is that? Is it Dylan's? Ugh. Could be a cum vial as well, you never know. Alright, what am I doing? Okay. Oh. Person's over here. This must be it. Ugh. Ready to roll? Uh, uncertain. Mm. Not just yet. Oh, is that gonna? Well, come back when you are. Okay, fuck. I thought maybe it would just be like, mm, I don't think so, but let's go anyways. Okay, nope. Finally. <sighs> Time to let loose and vamoose this caboose. How are you so dramatic? Annoying. Confident. It's just acting. It's what the people want. So you're faking it? I mean, in a way, faking it is just being yourself, but louder. Why is she dressed the way she is? You we are try camping. It sometime. You never know who you might impress. No. <laughs> It's too late like, now, anyway. I, I get that she's the city girl, but it's like she signed up to be a counselor. A city girl wouldn't do there. that. If she refuses to dress like, you know, she should. I'm not, I'm not doing this. Uh, whoa! Eyes on the road, lady. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, so hypothetically, if I were to put myself out there, what if he ends up being a dud? Kind of like you and Jacob. He's actually... We're going two really miles per hour. Then why'd you quit it? Summer fling. We're going to school like four states away. I, he gets it. Yeah, sure. But that's us. You and Nick could be different. When you get his handle, hit him up. Oh, I already have his email. It was in the packet they gave to us on the first day. Email? Are you 93? What's wrong with email? I agree. Emails are stupid. I'm really gonna miss you, Abby. It's for old people. Oh, hold up! Oh, uh, but the lodge is that way. Go right here. Why? Come on, scenic route? One last victory lap around the camp? You know what? Sure. Let's do it. Let's see what stupid fucking shit we have sure. cooked up for ourselves. What's the victory? Two months, no technology. I kind of thought it was nice to be offline. Ugh, I didn't. Plus, my subs need me. It's called the scenic route. Supportive, I believe you, sarcastic. Yep, sarcastic. Oh, how'd they even get by for two months without you? I will have you know that I have a very loyal and engaged subscriber base. I provide very important and educational lifestyle advice in the form of entertaining and hilarious video monologues. They rely on me. Oh, totally. Is she a YouTuber? You're a big deal. Uh, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm sure they're gonna be like really happy you're back. Only fans? I mean, it wouldn't surprise me. My favorite spot? The fire pit? There's no way she's, you the know, island. getting traction with her personality. Mad secluded, right? Is, is that smoke? Should we tell someone? Mm, it looks pretty contained. It's probably just Mr. H burning some stuff before, you know, he closes camp for the summer. Yeah. Speaking of which, we should, we should probably, you know, get back. Oh, yeah. Worried Nick's, you know, gonna leave without you? Well, no, they're probably, like, all waiting for us. Mm-hmm. Everyone's waiting for us. Everyone, yeah. Nick, waiting for you. All, everyone, mm -hmm. same.
Okay. Don't worry, Jacob. I got you. I got a full tank of gas, so... Oh, fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, idiot. <laughs> Does nobody own phone chargers anymore? Hey, there's no signal out here anyways, dude, okay? This place is like Patchy's balls. <sighs> Your balls are <laughs> Patchy? What? No. <laughs> it's okay. I'll just go get some juice from Mr. H before we go. And... Uh, you. <sighs> Hey, Nick. Hey, where were you guys? <gasps> Wouldn't you like to know? Ignore her, please. Hey, what's wrong with a fucking t-shirt? Where are your bags? Mr. H locked them in the cabin already. <laughs> Why, to keep out bears? Apparently. Uh, questioning, sarcastic. Let's do sarcastic. Yeah, bears can be bad news, especially if you've been, you know, trying out their variably heated oatmeals. I really don't think there are any bears. I tried to get the bags, but someone was all, wouldn't that make us criminals who deserve to be in jail? You're paraphrasing, but yes, it would. <laughs> mm, I don't think Mr. H would have been too happy to see his cabins vandalized. Thank you. <laughs> hey, has anyone seen Ryan? Oh, yeah, he's probably off being all brooding and mysterious and alluring somewhere. <laughs> I'm here. What were you doing under there? Having a little me party? Uh, I was listening to a podcast, actually. <laughs> oh, Sick, podcast. Dude. Nice. That's cool. What's it about? It's a podcast, actually. Relatable. <laughs> Is it about me? Protect it. Oh, mind your own business, motherfucker. I think it's called How to Mind Your Own Business. You should listen to it. Yeah. Ghosts. Ghosts? Yeah, well, all sorts of cryptozoology, really. The, the episode I was listening to was actually Cryptos. about this place. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. The one that you were talking about to the uh, kids at the campfire. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Oh, they're talking about cryptocurrency. Yes. Uh, I was... Okay, anyway. What's the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? You don't know about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. Uh, if I did, would I be asking them ass? Tell her about the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I don't think she wants to know about the Hag of Hackett's <laughs> Quarry. Oh, can we just please stop saying the Hag of Hackett's Quarry? It's Hag just this campfire story for the kids. It's, um, there's supposedly an old woman who died in a fire a few years back. She haunts the woods looking for her lost baby boy. There are, like, reports of whispers or whatever, and then this figure that floats around, you know, textbook ghost stuff. Some people say that if she catches you alone, she'll try to turn you into her son or kill you or something. I don't know. It's never really been clear. Anyways, Haga Haggit's Corey. You made that up. It's right here in the podcast, man. To the podcast. Cool story, bro. Oh, God. Supportive. Mm. Seriously, though, you should have seen the first time he told the story to the kids at the campfire. They were scarred for life. I mean, not for <laughs> life. You got to be careful with this stuff, man. This shit's true. Come on, dude, bullshit. What's the holdup, Hacketeers? Yeah, I, 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 nearly done, Mr. H. Hop to it. Get those butts in gear. Could Where do I know him our from? Bags weren't locked up. What's that? Sounded like you said, of course, Mr. H. Is We're he the cop? It, Mr. H. Sorry, Mr. Hackett, from but our, our bags. Scream right. the movie? Cabin. <laughs> We're really busting our butts here. Well, except Ryan, who's trying to scare the pants off our butts with his weird ghost stories. Okay. Okay. Enough he with is. all the butts. And, and what's this about what, ghost H stories? H of H's Q. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I was just. Oh, for Pete's sake, Ryan. Oh, he's in Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Hey, you still have the van key, Mr. H? Mm. Well, yes, I do. You know, I'd lose my head if it wasn't stuck on. Can't find my truck. Back to the office I go. Give me a hand, would you, Ryan? Oh, okay. Yo, Mr. H. 
What's up, DJ Dylan? Any chance I could get a little charge? I want to have some uh, tunes for the road. No can do. Understanding. Don't bitch. Cool, cool, yeah. No worries. Good man. Uh, no big deal. You can share my earbuds. Yeah. So, uh, Chris, I I'm actually glad we got a moment to talk. Uh, uh-oh. I'm not fired, am I? <laughs> no, no, it's, um, it's just, you know, about the whole thing w with the... Hold that thought, partner. I'm gonna have to take this. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, sorry. Hello? Eavesdrop. What? Because kids are kids. You should only do so much for those. But they're almost out of here, all right? You're cutting it pretty close. We don't want to have... Just hold your damn horses, all right? Everything's A-OK -okay on this end. Bobby and I are geared up. If he's in the area, we'll get him. This is a waste of time. You know it, I know it. No, should I have? He's gone quiet. Try staying out of the way. Speaking of which, the longer you keep me on this damn phone, the longer it's gonna take me to get rid of these damn kids. Yeah, of course. Adios. All right, back up. He's coming. He's coming. Back up. Back up. Back up. You're an idiot. You're dumb. Sorry, I, I wasn't. I wasn't listening. I, I was just like waiting. Like I mean, I heard. That's so easy I, to avoid. I mean, I was. I didn't hear what you were. Saying. We're cool, champ. Just. Come on in. Sorry I pushed you out like that. Like, how hard is it? You can hear... Like, what? That's frustrating. You, uh, you need a hand looking for the keys? Uh, no. End of summer. Busy, busy. You know. Anyway, you were asking me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It was just the whole animation school thing, what you thought I should do. Right. Y you know, listen, uh, whether or not I should, like leave my sister with my grandparents since I'd have to live on campus, you know, and my mom's not exactly around, so I wouldn't want to leave Sarah on her own. You know, fam our family's small enough as it is. Well, family is important, right? Dang it. Is everything okay? You know, you know what? Be a... Da -da 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 -da. Do I want to fucking call him out for not giving a fuck? Or do I want to be, you know, not an idiot? I'm just going to go concerned. Let's not be, who cares? Who gives a fuck? Is everything okay? You got a hot day tonight? Oh boy. If you only knew. <laughs> Ryan, I told you to make sure everyone was ready. What happened? They don't really listen to me. Then you gotta make them listen, bud. I can't. I mean... Shoot, no time to get their bags now. For real? I don't think the girls are gonna like that. We'll ship them along in a few days. So, uh, what, what did you need me for? You're one of my favorite counselors, Ryan. You know that. One of the good ones. But, do you know how many calls I get from parents? Letter after letter these terrified kids that they send home. Huh. I, I didn't realize that. Believe it or not, scaring kids away from sleepaway camp is kind of bad for business. So maybe just ease up on the ghost stories. Paul, uh, indifferent. Let's, let's, let's see what happens. It was just a fun story that weirdo kid told me last month. Hey, there's no weirdo here. At Hackett's Quarry, everyone's their own brand of cool. You cancelers gotta be the responsible ones. Keep the kids happy. Keep the kids safe. So knock it off. Yeah, of course. I mean, we are. Seriously, Chris, what's going on? 
I just want to get you guys safely out of Dodge before the sun goes down. Why? Inquisitive. Why? It's getting dark, Ryan, and it's not safe to drive in the dark. And safety is the first step towards fun. That's so sus, bro. <sighs> Just give me a minute. Mm. <sighs> and the good goddamn are they? Will you say goodbye to Caleb and Kaylee for me? He sort of just snuck off. Well, you'll see him again next year. Caleb works at the scrap yard during the off season, and Kaylee, well, she's still figuring out what she <laughs> wants to do. Picture. She's got her whole <laughs> life ahead of her. They both just come and go as they please, really. Teenagers, am I right? <laughs> Actually, could have used the help packing up since we were short staffed. Hey, you guys seem to manage all right. But I'll tell them both you were sad you missed them. Unlocked the van, put the keys in my pocket, came in the office. This is what I do. Yep. Right where I left uh -huh. it. Let's Talking get out. Talking a lot always makes things easier to think about. Make sure they're all ready to go. For real this time. Wait, how did you get your phone back before the rest of us? I never turned it in. You should have turned it off before you handed it in, Dylan. Them's the rules, you noob. <laughs> I try not to dwell on the past, man. <laughs> Good, because it's time to dwell on the minivan. Get on with our respective lives. Move it, let's go. Oh wait, the van's not gonna work. Hey, what about our bags? What the uh, fuck? Emma, I'm gonna have to ship them to you tomorrow. Hell no, no, I am not leaving without- What is the that way it's mouth? Be. <laughs> oh my God. Come on, Jacob, start her up. <laughs> oh, holy shit. What's the problem? Ugh, dude, I don't know. I, I think there's something wrong with the engine mixer, H. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, dude, it's just like kaput. All right, let me try. What, Dude, I'm telling you, all right, it's busted. Well, maybe you're doing Go, it wrong. Well, maybe you're doing it wrong. What the fuck, dude? Enough, enough, both of you. Shit, come all on, right, come dude, on. Chill, chill, Let's go. dude. I'm Damn it! I thought I told you kids to check everything. We did. It, it should be working. Yeah, well, coulda and shoulda doesn't mean it is, does it? Damn it! Okay. Uh, okay. Well, uh, look, it's not that big of a deal, okay? We'll just spend one more night here. No! No! Just stop. Let me think. Okay. Damn it. You're right. You're right. Yeah. What? Yeah, you're right. Nope. <laughs> oh. Beep, dude. <laughs> Look at <it>. loser. <laughs> hey, Ron. Come here for a sec. Make sure that everybody is inside the lodge for tonight. Lock the doors. No one in, no one out. No one. Got it? Okay. I'll be back first thing in the morning. And we'll get you all on the road. You just have to keep everyone inside. Can you promise me you'll do that? Uncertain. Wait, 
We had to stay inside until tomorrow? Why? Where are you going? Ryan, I need you to trust me. Like I'm trusting you. Can you do that? Lock the doors. And for God's sake, keep the noise down! So, what was that about? He, uh, said to stay inside, that we're not leaving until the morning. Mm. Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Are you kidding me? What are we supposed to do? Well, we should go inside, like he said. We could go inside until morning. Yeah. Or... His voice or does seem a little, like, do deep, else. doesn't it? Tight, insistent, we found. Or yeah, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe this is how he talks. Mm. I don't know. Uh, Follow his instructions. No, 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 no. We should really listen to what Chris told us to do. Of course. Uh, who cares what Chris told us to do? He's not our boss anymore. P A R T. Why the fuck not? All right, it seems like the stars have aligned for us, no? Okay, okay, okay. One last epic bonfire blowout for all time. Oh, dude. Fuck yes. I'm in, Nick. You're in. Yeah, I'm in. Dylan's in, obviously. My man, Caitlin. I go where my people need me. Yeah, okay. M, what do you say? Mm. Oh, don't open the mouth. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. <sighs> Mr. Hackett seemed pretty insistent we stay in the lodge. He was just trying to freak us out, you know? Like, um, like one of Ryan's stupid ghost stories. Why would he want to scare us? I don't think he was trying to freak us out, Jacob. I think he was really freaked out by something. Jesus Christ. Chris seemed real serious about this, guys. Just say you're in, man. Come on, one last night. Yeah, Dude, he won't even know. I, I promised. I no, 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 dude, dude. It's all good, all right? We get it. You know, you, uh, you don't want to disappoint daddy. Someone's got to give a shit. Yeah, well, someone's got to give a shit. Oh. You know what? <gasps> I don't even care what you guys do. Oh. I'm doing what Chris told Boo! me to do. Ryan, come on, man. Wait. Chin. All right, all right, all right. Hacketeers. Uh, he? Party planning committee. Let's do this. Um, okay. First hey, things yo, first. Girl, what that Nick and Abby. Do. You will get some firewood, the whole world. Uh, and then That's I will hot. go to the stores Mrs. for some Pac supplies. <laughs> and uh, Dylan, you just, I don't know, figure out how to charge the phones for something. All right, let's do this. So who's the girl he's trying to get back with? Is it, oh shit. Oh shit. All right. Yeah. The fuck is this crocodile hunters? Oh my god. Head down, walk with reason, that when daylight dies, gonna have to face the demons, life of sin and a life of lies. The devil's gonna come when the sun go down.
Oh, I didn't find I any cards. I was hoping you'd come She's gonna be so to disappointed in me. Let's see what you found. I didn't find anything. Empty-handed. Fuck. You need to look around you, <laughs> find my cards, and I can help you. Where I'm from, we look out for each other. Find them, please. She's begging me. I'm not gonna find any. <laughs> You'd better be going. It's still early and the moon is bright, but time won't wait. Not for those with a story to tell. Be careful. Look out for yourselves. And look out for my cards. I'm gonna try and predict what they're gonna say. Camp is still in session. That's what they're gonna say. First words. Or we're back in business. So here we are, Fuck. stranded in the great American wild with nothing but our wits to guide us. Will humanity prevail or will we grow ravenous and resort to eating the flesh of the deceased like I saw in that one plane crash movie? Make sure to like and subscribe. First course, Fuck. filet au Jacob. Rich and full body, this rare beefcake may leave Can a you stop filming me and help? lingering on the palate. An acquired taste, some would say. Damn it. Wow. What? Looks like you're trying to thread a needle with a packet of loose sausages. Oh my god, I'm almost done, okay? Jesus Christ. And for the record, your analogies are very hurtful. Mm. So is this the girl he wants to get back with? That's why he okay, fucked up the car? There. One second. <laughs> ah, there we go! And Viola. <laughs> Your hair clip, madam. Yeah, you can keep it. It's not too shabby, huh? Yeah. Took you long enough. Took I gotta you be long a bitch enough. so he stops giving a fuck about me. Well, I got it open, didn't I? It's okay. It's not a race. Okay. So, if I were a beer, oh where would I be God. hiding? Beep, 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 beep. What beep. are you doing? Oh, <laughs> uh, it's my beer dar. Helps me dar for beers. Huh. How am I just noticing how super lame you are? What? But it, it's my beer dar, dude. Dude. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna go over here. Dude, bro. It's my beer dar. A bro. Wow, <laughs> kids really wipe this place out. Mr. H loved his accessories. It's 1337. I think it's locked. Or 69. 69. Fuck. Don't know what I was expecting. <laughs> oh. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> between oh. the thighs, between the thighs. Jackpot! Hey, uh, check out my giant melons. Oh. See? You just cut a hole in it? Mm-hmm. You pour in your vodka. It's party time. You just, you pour the vodka right in it? Yeah. It's the most fun you could have with a hole in watermelon. Or, well, second most. Okay, I'm gonna leave you two alone and go look for some more party supplies. Wonder if that's actually good, pouring vodka in the water. I don't know these things. I know jello shots are OP as fuck, but they're like, you know, effort. Is that a card? If that's a card, I don't want it. Ugh, I don't want it. Uh, it's not a card. Okay, I'll look at it. Harem scarum? 
What? Oh, door. I don't know who decided to put the fucking massive like bike chain around her neck. It's not, it's not the play. Buys this crap. What? Where the fuck? What is this maze? What is going on? All right, we're sprinting. <laughs> Hello, old friends. Oh, yeah. Scare Jacob. Yeah, let's scare him. Can't pass up an opportunity like this. Okay. Have y'all ever seen a grown man crap his pants? Because you're about to. Oh, I wish I... Okay. Oh, my. All right, now where should I hide? This content is gonna be epic. Jacob! Emma? Hello? <sighs> Look, if you're trying to scare me, it's not gonna work. I hope he punches her. Ah! You're not scared of clowns? What? No, they're they're funny. You think this is supposed to be funny? I mean, yeah. Well, <laughs> do you think it's funny now, little boy? I oh, because you want to join twenty of my sexy clown friends in a tiny car that. Somehow fits us all like it's no big deal. I. I. Yeah. What? Moment's gone. <sighs> Not forgotten. Keep the mask on, it's better. Anyways. Uh, what, wait, was that? What's my goal? I unlocked it. Was that not the goal? What is the goal? All right. I'm going to keep going back. I checked that already. Burn, 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 burn. Oh, it's a door. Okay. Wonder where this goes. Locked. Call Jacob. Jacob! Come check this out. Oh, uh, <laughs> alrighty then. Door. Ace Ventura. Buckle up because you are about to meet your maker. Done. Nice. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Fucking mother love. Good golly, Miss Molly. No wonder he kept this place locked up. I think he'll be pissed when we made his stash. What? No. I mean, he left us stranded here. It's like, um... 
Human rights, sir. <gasps> Oh, Whatever. Oh, shit. All right. Now, let's see what we are working with. Hold that. The I've door got, will latch otherwise. I've got chocolate candy bars. Oh. Hell yeah. In and out. Job done. Boom. I want to look around. Go for it. Chocolate, but I got one. It's three muskies. Jacob, check this out. What? I can't move or else the door will latch. They look like camping supplies. Oh, okay. Um, there's tents back at the fire pit, so just let's let's go. Did a bear do this? Hell yeah. What? What is it? A gun. Oh, cool. And a code. The safe. Take the gun. Okay. Mm. I'm done. <laughs> She's taking it. Oh, nice. Hell yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm glad she's taking it, so but at the same uh, time, like... You're really gonna keep the gun? Huh? Why? Yeah. For bears. Okay. Uh, well, I am gonna find something to haul this lot back to camp. Alright. Mm. Where is this safe? Safe is at the beginning, isn't it? Like right here to the left? All right. Oh, she already. In. Hey, very nice. <laughs> Damn. What else is in there? Uh, just some fireworks. W oh, fireworks? Yeah, but I don't think we should. No, 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 Emma. Fireworks. <gasps> yeah, take them. Fuck it. You know, you're right. Fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 hell yeah. Fireworks. Oh, um, and might I just add, um, fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Hey, I found these, like, torn up bags back there. They were pretty messed up, and I think they might have had blood on them. Oh, oh, stop. 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 Fire. Stay right there. Uh, <sighs> oh, dude. Peanut butter butter pops. Ew. Dude, peanut butter fucking butter pops. Affectionate. What are butter pops? Yep, flirt with them. What are butter pops? <laughs> no. What? I can't believe it. Um, okay. Um, <clears throat> pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. <laughs> pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Pop. Oh my god. They're like the greatest snack of all time. What are they? Are they like popcorn? What? No, 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 no. They're nothing like popcorn. They're like their own thing, like their own subgenre. A food snack. You know what? 
I haven't had these since I was a kid. You are in for such a treat. Okay, wait, is there an expiration date on that bag? Um, no, they're still good. Oh my God, they're like 20 years old, aren't okay. they? Okay, look, they predate expiration dates. Blah. Well, you're gonna love them. Blah. Oh my God. Oh. Well, <clears throat> I saw a wheelbarrow out front, so we can load up all our booty in there. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Booty? Oh, it means like, um, like treasure or buds. <laughs> <laughs> no, before that. This guy's that. so fucking funny. Wheelbarrow? Uh, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, it's like, um, it's like a barrel with wheels. You can put stuff in it and just wheel it around. Oh. I see. <sighs> Ladies first. Mm. Yep. <sighs> Which way? I shouldn't have eaten that chocolate bar. Now my tummy hurts. Mm. <sighs> All right. The inner sanctum. It's just an office. This is where the magic happens. This is where the magic happens. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's just make this quick. What? Sure. Just give Am me I... a sec to get this going. Am I in a loop or was that like a thing? And engage. Podcasts. Yeah. All right. Friendly. Uh, what's it called, the one that you're listening to right now? Uh, bizarre yet bona fide. So, like, ghosts and stuff? It's like, um, yeah, like, the the weird and the wonderful, digging up weird mysteries and discussing if they're, well, bona fide. Boner. Fide. <laughs> Get it? Boner. <laughs> Your wit knows no bounds. So, should we check out what Mr. H keeps in his private den of sin? Uh, I don't know, man. Uh, I feel a little weird going through his stuff. Hi, Soda. Okay. Are you well, going to TwitchCon Amsterdam? Love the streams. What kind by. of dirty secrets is the owner nope. of the summer camp full of impressionable young children going to have anyway? To be fair, all these characters are <laughs> cringe as fuck. But if He's like, cool. if I was in here, cool I would be so boring. Mm. And cringe. He's, you gotta take these fucking weird ass. It's, it's boring. But you took normal like people, like, hey, let's just stay inside and uh, play solitaire, <laughs> and then mm. roll credits. <laughs> it's the end. That picture is haunted. Kaylee and Caleb Hackett. Weird kids, huh? I like them. Yeah, me, I, me too. Um, they are pretty reclusive, you have to admit. That is... I don't need the zoom. Shit just looks wrong. Yo, my guy. Toss me the keys. Uh, so you can poke around in Chris's private area? I, I'm sorry, is that something that only you're allowed to do? Party har har. Come on, what's the harm in looking? It's you're not a little bit curious. I'm not gonna touch anything. Fine. Don't let me regret it. Oh, miss, miss. Can't promise. Let me that, miss. But... Let me miss. Let me miss. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I beeped it. <laughs> I don't play sports. Fuck, I wish I could miss it. <laughs> it's miss <mode. laughs> Huh. <laughs> mm. 
Whoa, there's some pretty heavy duty stuff in here. Yeah, maybe let's not touch I that. Ibuprofen? Yeah, there's nothing. Wait, what, what? No, 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 let me see that. I want to see. Let me see. It's, hold on. Pause. Mm. Ibuprofen. Um. Toothpaste. There's a bunch of sixes on that phone number in the bottom middle. For people, heart issues, I guess. It's just it's heart medicine. Painkillers. But it's not oxy. Wait, heavy duty. My asshole. All right, moving on. Fashion icon. Mr. H knows what he likes. Sure he does. There was morphine wow, in there? There's... Yo. I don't, I don't even think about morphine. Hey, hey, maybe we shouldn't. What? <laughs> More like morphine? Uh, Brian? <laughs> Whoa, what the fuck? These monitors, this is the camp. Huh. What? Is Mr. H spying on us? No, no. I mean, no, no, he can't be. These are just, they're all different trails in the woods around camp. <laughs> sure. Most of the cameras are pointed away from camp, so it's not like he's spying on the kids, unless they wandered out into the woods. You know, these are just, probably just trail cameras. What are trail cameras? People set them up to catch weird, random shit. Okay, yeah, like what? Like... Bigfoot sightings, you know, that kind of thing. Maybe he's list. Interesting. I didn't know that Mr. H was into that kind of stuff. Shit, maybe he likes that podcast that you listen to. Secret hobby, I guess. Expensive hobby. Yeah, well, I mean, what else are you going to do out here? Yeah, I guess camp probably does get pretty lonely when there's no one else around. Yeah. Okay, but why go through all the trouble of hiding this room through a secret door in the closet? Uh, I mean, it's not exactly secret, right? Like, it's just hidden by stuff. Yeah, that's what a secret is, Ryan. It, it's weird. It's majorly yeah, weird. I don't disagree with you, but... It, it's It's got to be something juicy in here. Dylan, okay. it's, it's none of our business. And it, if you really want to know, you can ask him tomorrow. I'm sure that won't be an awkward conversation, like, at all. Okay, yeah, maybe I will. All right. I, I'm leaving this secret layer. Have fun. Hey, you just admitted that it's a secret layer. Wait, he's got a fucking sure... SM7B Mike. Maybe he has a podcast. OMG. Okay, these are boring. Why can't I fucking look at hello? Okay, now I can click it. Jesus. Everyone's gonna go back. Okay, let me look at it again. Okay. I'm gonna stare at it for a long time and see if I see anything. Oh. What was that? What? It's probably nothing. So what I think right now, I think it's werewolves, and I think that right now it's daytime, so it's a bunch of hunters just walking around. Like they're trying to hunt the werewolves. 
The world, like all the scariness, like that was just some old guy, one of the hunter dudes. It's like until dawn, there's gonna be a bunch of like scary stuff. Has nothing to do with the scary monsters, but what happened? So, got anything going on when you get back home? School or? Uh, jury's out. Understood. Girlfriend? Mm. Uh, not exactly. Boyfriend? Free agent. Cool, yeah. Me too. Are the, uh, phones... Oh, uh, yeah, probably. You want to check? Oh, let's just give him another minute or two, just to be sure. Nice. Full up. Can I not just... Do they actually charge up to 100? I wonder. Hey, what's the gun for? Uh, Chris, mm. Mr. H told me it was for, um, bears. Bears? Here? Yeah, yeah, he said they don't really come around because he's got the mm. gun. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just leave it alone. Just leave it alone. Serious, what if we need it? Dude, what if we're out partying tonight out in the woods and we end up in a sort of most dangerous game situation? Like when people hunt other people? Yeah, yeah. What? I mean, think about it. It's camp is over and hunting season has just begun. True. What if, what if okay, bear with me here. What if what's <laughs> on the menu me. tonight is us? Well, then I guess we would need to protect ourselves. Exactly, that's why we need the gun mm. for protection. Yeah, not gonna happen. What about for fun? No? Okay. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, totally. Well, we know where the gun is if we need it. Your call, man. Yo, leave the gun alone, man. You got it, boss. Dylan, what the fuck, man? I'm sorry. I just really, really want to know what it feels like to hold it. Um, <laughs> I told you to leave it alone twice. Yeah, sorry. Cut it out. Oh, I want to kill that kid. It won't let me. <laughs> Another secret Hello, area. what is this? You hear that? Is that a trap door? <laughs> yeah, I guess it goes to the basement. Huh. But why would Mr. H have a secret trap door in his office that goes to the basement? Maybe it was here before this was his office. He's like a million years old. This has always been his office. It's probably for storage. Yeah, or so that he can make a quick getaway when the heat comes down. Oh, uh, okay. Or it's for storage. Go ahead, open it up. Oh, All right, shit. Well, it looks like a pit of eternal darkness, so. You're being dramatic. Climb down, take a look. Look, you can squeeze through there. You opened it, you climb down. Climb down, of course. <laughs> What's down there? Oh my god, Ryan, you will what? not believe this. What, what, what? It's nothing. Oh, dang. <laughs> 
I had you go in there for a second, didn't I? No. Maybe. Just <laughs> shut up. It is uh, pretty spooky down here, though, and it smells very unnatural, so... Also, there's a bunch of fairies floating around. Yeah, okay, I'm coming back up. It's broken. <gasps> no. Ooh, that's a nice Broken trick. ladder. You better hope Mr. H doesn't catch you taking his baby out for a joyride. <laughs> Come on, he's not gonna know. Okay, just be careful. What do you think I'm gonna do, break it? Come on. Oh. <sighs> That's a design flaw. What is going on? Oh. Laura Kearney and Max Brindley. Oh, yeah, those are the ones that never showed up. Yeah, it's because of these goobers that we had to work extra shifts this summer. ready to leave can we go now so if you do go to school in the fall have you like picked out a major or i don't know man it's kind of hard to talk about right now oh have you not decided what you're gonna do with your life hey are the phones done yet oh yeah we're charging phones we're just hanging out while they charge that's right nice full up that's that's exactly where we left it had to party, I'm over hey, this. Hey, so. All right, cool, let's go. Thank you. Someone needs to start this dying. Be a lot easier with Mr. H's chainsaw. Oh, they're on a it's date. It's really very pretty out here when there's no kids around. Yeah, they can get kind of obnoxious, huh? Yeah. <laughs> they always seem to listen to you during painting class. You've seen my class? Just walking by. <laughs> the art cabin's all the way out of the way. Yeah, well, there's this shortcut that I take that goes by. Which way should we go? Why don't you choose? Shady Glade or Rocky Road? Um, I don't fucking know. Let's do Rocky and see if someone trips and dies. Good choice. Better sticks this way. Better sticks? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like burning or whatever. <laughs> uh. Think we've got enough? Uh. Not yet. What the fuck is this music? Don't touch me. Back up. Dude. So this place was an actual quarry? Uh, yeah. Apparently some of the caves run pretty deep. It's like a honeycomb under there. Cool. God, she won't leave me alone. 
Danger, falling rocks. Excellent. Let me read this. Are you sure this is safe? What, are you scared? No. Are you? No. Don't care. Doesn't bother me. Shit. It's all right. Calm down. <laughs> Back to the nice soothing music. Wait, which way did we come from? I have no idea. I'm going this way. Excellent. We did it. Left or right? I'm not going to I'm not collecting that. Wait, did I do a loop? What? All right. about okay, we're next. Good. like after we die it's heavy man no i mean like the future uh yeah our, our hands are gonna brush sometimes and they're gonna be like, oh my god hold my hand all the time it's overwhelming i know what you mean sometimes i just try to like let it happen you know huh like whatever happens is what was meant to happen I hope a rock like falls out. It's all predetermined. Be so good. <laughs> Fate. That was meant to happen. Predantic? I wouldn't call it that. Uncertain? I'm not sure what we're supposed to do. Oh, God. Both of them are so bad. I don't know. I'm not sure we're supposed to know. Yeah. Fate just seems so convenient. How so? Because if it's all predetermined and you do something terrible, then you have the excuse of saying, well, it wasn't really me because everything's been pre-planned and then I'm not really in control of my actions, am I? I never really thought about it like that before. I mean, well, it's, it's totally okay if you believe that. Yeah, no, totally. I'll yeah. still fuck you. It's fine. We're still a good match. Stop fucking following me, freak. Compliment her art, she'll love that. What am I supposed to do while you fucking draw? 
Did you ever think about that? Or just fucking stand here and stare at you? Sincere, playful, do me. Oh my god. Damn, Damn. Abby, you're really good. Yep, no, there you go. No, this is nothing. <laughs> no, really, I'm not just saying that. This is rough, but if I can get a little bit of it down, then I'll remember it better later. It's really cool you know that about yourself. Um, yeah. I guess so. I mean, not everyone knows what they're capable of, you know? Shut up, dude. I'm sure you're capable of a lot, Nick. I mean, of course. I just... don't know what. You'll figure it out. Guess I'll just sit here and do fucking nothing while you fucking doodle. Narcissistic bitch. Fuck you. Oh shit. Did you hear that? Huh? It's probably nothing. No, listen. There's something there. That's a pig. <laughs> For a warthog. It's so tiny. <laughs> My god, he's so cute. <laughs> Don't fuck with. Yep. Hold on. Hold on. Save that. No, I ain't doing shit. by a creature of indeterminate origin. Don't breathe. You need to stop breathing, tricking the beast into taking you for nothing but a corpse. And where's the fun in hunting then which is already dead? Watch the visuals alter or listen to the sound change as the threat approaches. When the danger has passed, run. Pick the right moment and run for your life. Be warned. Exhaling or running at the wrong time may just mark you as the creature's quarry, causing serious consequences. I'm not gonna hold my breath. <laughs> oh, this slime! Oh. Okay, did you get all that? Huh? I thought you were gonna draw me getting French by a wild pig. Ah, oh, got it all up here. <laughs> <laughs> now he... I can't wait until the dying begins. They're gonna die. Smile. There's no escape. So, so. I'll grab my... Guess we should head back. Oh my god, let's hold hands. I want a water. Finally get my phone back and it's just a big dumb brick. Oh, free look. Alright, what are we looking for? Can I zoom?
Hey, Caitlin. Guess what? Mr. Chicken H butt. is a voyeuristic creep. He has hidden cameras everywhere and a secret room. No, that's not... Whoa, now, back up. What? His eyes are everywhere. He's always watching us. Knock it off, man. He, he's just got trail cameras set up, you know, forest surveillance, that kind of thing. Oh. You don't think that's weird? Well, he's got a perimeter to check, kids to protect. You know, probably just to keep track of wildlife. You guys have no imagination. So, uh, what's going on here? Everything ready? <sighs> Still no service. Ah, uh, yeah. So, pretty boring. Yep. I wonder, maybe a satellite fell out of the sky or something? Mm. Yeah, and landed in the forest, waking from her slumber, the hag uh, hacking. Okay. You know, I just realized we may never see each other again after tonight. The fuck is my chat? You can't have just what realized the fuck? that. Just trying to set the mood. What mood? The mood, the vibe, you know. Speaking of setting the mood, I have work to do. Okay, because playlists don't make themselves. I mean, I guess they do, but... All right, right guy. Time to get wood. Yikes. Wording. Oh, I know what I said. Abby, Nick, just in time. We got wood. <laughs> We've already done that joke. It's mostly just kindling. Oh, that's all we need. There's already a big pile of logs here. Mm. We could have gotten more, but there was a hog or a boar. But Nick was very, very brave and took one for the team. Um, the hog of Hackett's Quarry. Here you go. Oh my gosh, it can't be. The hog of Hackett's Quarry? What? I thought you hated that phrase. <laughs> big jokes take big sacrifices. You're so brave. Oh. I just want to shrink you down to little pocket people and put you in my pocket and peep at you when I need a little pick-me-up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? Oh, we're dead. Oh. Special delivery. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where the hell did that gun come uh, from? Dude, relax, okay? It's not even real. Uh... Well, I mean, it's a real gun, but it's just for shooting bears. We found it in the storage room. Okay, fine, fine, we'll put it down. Thank you. Guns are no joke, dipshit. And, and, we bring you a hand-picked selection of only the finest that Hackett's Quarry has to offer. No freaking way. Yes, freaking way. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Pop, pop, pop them um, in your mouth. Pop! I didn't even know you could still find these anywhere. Oh, hey, hey, cool your jets there, cowboy. All right, these... Are spoken for. Dude, you can't just shove those in my face and not expect me to want to pop, pop, pop them in my mouth. Come on. Emma? Mm. Please hand me the shotgun. What, you're going to shoot me over them? No, dumbass. Okay, we are going to shoot for them. Nah, dude. Absolutely not. No. Yeah, let's play with the gun. Come on. Stern, mocking, not a great idea. Fuck. Where's the option of, yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Hmm. Okay, there is no way I'm leaving you dillweeds alone with a gun. Well, come on, look, the shooting range is like right over there, okay? It'll be fun. Okay, look, you and me, old fashioned shootout. First prize, peanut butter butter pops, all to yourself. Dude, I guess you don't really want them then, huh? Fine, you're on. Yeah, boy! Jacob, hand me that gun now. I mean, nobody's handling any firearms if you're gonna act like a dick about okay, it. Okay, then you can be the ref. We need an objective third party. Okay, we're trying to get a party started here, Jacob. Okay, well, the main party's not gonna die just because you're off on a little side quest. Come Let's on. Let's go, come on. Here we go. Sounds like this is gonna be really fun and epic. All right. Yeah. I guess we're gonna have ourselves an old-fashioned shootout. Yeah. Look, there's a clearing we can use as a shooting range back there, but if I see either of you dicking around, I am turning this car around. Oh, uh. we'll be good. <laughs> I got fireworks. I've got a gun going off, a shotgun to be specific, very loud. This is going to be epic. Okay, so just so you know, I was an expert marksman, <clears throat> third class. Three years in a row, ranked highest in camp each year. I'm just letting you know, 
that your goose is cooked, Nick. But if you back down now, I might let you just have one little peanut butter butter pop if you're lucky. No way. You've never even seen me shoot. Yeah, that's because you've never shot before. Yeah, not that you know of. <laughs> okay, I think I would know if okay, you actually... Okay, boys, I'm gonna have to stop you right there. As much as I'm enjoying your charming machismo, the moment we step foot on the shooting range, we're playing by my rules, okay? And what I say goes. Got it? Okay, good. Hmm? Now I'm gonna go set up some targets and get more shells. Do not move a muscle or touch his gun until I'm back. All right, so is it just me? Is it kind of hot when she gets all bossy like that? I'm always hot, pencil Yeah, deck. okay, thank you. Bye, bye. Is that blood? So, um, how's your little one-on-one -on -one with Abby in the woods? Hopeful, evasive. How are things with Emma, fuckface? Fun. How is your little one-on-one -on -one with Emma? Ah, oh, dude, it's incredible. She's totally still into me. Really? Yeah. Just gotta figure out this whole long distance thing. Is that what she wants? I want to know what she wants. Well, I mean, you could ask her. <laughs> I could ask. <laughs> That's funny. Speaking of, let me show you how a real man shoots his gun. Are you guys seriously still thumping your chest at each other? No, I think he's got brain damage. <laughs> okay, please, just give me the gun. Uh-uh. You'll have it when I say you'll have it. All right, huddle up, boys. This is how we're going to do this. You're shooting the one on the left. Nick first, then Jacob's turn. Keep your fingers off the trigger till you're ready to shoot. You got it? Aye, aye. All right. Two things. Remember the spread. Remember the recoil. This is a shotgun. We're not sharpshooting here. The flashlight shows you where you're aiming. Obs. Fuck, I can't go anymore to the left. All right, I just want to completely miss. Dang it. <laughs> Unlucky, dude. Okay, we're too far back to do any real damage. Let's scooch forward a little and uh, fuck these guys up. Okay, you're good. All right, Nick. This time for real. Oh, man. I guess you don't want those butter pops after all. It's okay, dude. It's not like it's an obvious metaphor for your sexual competence or anything. It is. <sighs> All right. You might want to uh, avert your eyes, Nick. I don't want to give you any more performance anxiety. Uh, All right. All right. Just shut up and shoot, Jacob. Oh, I thought you were an ultra elite pro marksman. Yeah, with like a rifle. Whoa, 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 Nah, it's okay. You probably would have missed me anyway. Dude! Hey! <laughs> Disqualified for being a so dumbass. Scared. No! Ooh, what's that, Jakey? Huh? Huh? Pop, pop. Peanut butter, butter, Okay, pops. I get it. I get it. Blam. We thought this was over? What the? Whoa. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. What? That's effed up. Oh my god, a full moon. Okay, it is werewolves, right? It's, it's not even being subtle about it anymore. That's why they're so particular about like certain nights. <laughs> Hell yeah, this is so fun. This is tight, guys. Okay, new idea. Party game. Uh, okay, maybe this will be fun. People, we might never see each other after tonight. Let's make some memories. Well, what do you have in mind? How about the ultimate game of secrets and lies, truth or dare? But 
Dylan style. Okay, house rules are, someone asks you truth or dare, then you choose, and then you do. And there's no ifs, ands, or buts. Wow, that's so, like, so... normal truth or dare? Yes. So we can, like, make people kiss? <laughs> if they choose dare, yeah. As long as everyone consents, of course. Cool beans. I mean, keep it in your pants until it's your turn, but... Well, who does get to go first? Well, it's house deals, so... Abigail. Truth or dare? Um... Truth. Really dodged a bullet, huh? Alright, here goes. Have you ever slept with anyone? Oh my god, oh, sex? I, uh, I... I'm not going to interrupt. Good luck. You're on your own. You put yourself here. Have you ever slept with anyone at this camp? <laughs> no. Nope. Sorry. All right, Abby, it's your turn. <laughs> All right, okay. Um... Uh, Abby, oh my God, just pick someone. Okay, okay, um... I don't know. Ugh. Ding, ding, ding. Too late. My turn. Ryan. Truth or dare? Dare. Dare. Give me what you got. Okay, Ryan. Your dare comes with a choice. Can't you do that? I can do whatever I want. <laughs> And I dare you to kiss either Caitlin or Dylan. Wow. I mean, I guess both is off the table. Sorry. Is he asking if I'm gay or straight? You literally <laughs> just did, but okay. Let's do this. Oh, you get to pick whether you're... Okay. I feel like I should kiss Dylan for Pride Month. Right? Please? All right. Because Drix said please, I'm going to kiss Caitlyn. Caitlyn? Shall we? Always happy to please. She really hated that. All righty. Who shall I pick? Well, uh, me and Jacob haven't gotten Dylan a turn is yet. a little disappointed. Sorry. Good point. Uh, I have to pick someone to dare. Okay, I'm gonna dare Caitlin do something. Caitlin, what do you say? Truth or dare? Truth. Yeah, truth. Let's see. You ever go with Jacob? Yeah. So you and Jacob go way back, right? Like, since you were kids? Sadly, yes. Lame question, bro. Waste of a turn. You guys ever, uh, get down to business together? When we were freshmen, I made Jacob let me practice French kissing on him. But, mm. it never went any further, because he's a terrible kisser. And it was like kissing my brother. Yo. Still love you, bud. <laughs> okay. My turn. Nice finger, bro. Emma. That was sick. There. Emma, so you have to kiss... Jacob? Or... You like you Nick. Uh. <laughs> well then. Um, uh, sorry. Nick is not uh, even there, obviously. I don't know if that's, that's a good idea. idea. I choose Nick. Let's go, drama! <laughs> drama! M. Seriously? Oh my god. He's getting cucked so hard. Ah! Guys. Night's ruined. The entire night is ruined. Guys!
think you next. He's good. In what fucking... You're like kissing my girlfriend, asshole? You're mad at her, him? It was just a game. Hey, I'm What'd nobody's you get? girlfriend. The fuck it was. It was just a game. Yeah, the fuck it was, man. Jacob, grow up. You grow up. Well, I guess oh I should God. probably go after him. Oh my god, I'm such a bitch. You should bitch. probably go find Abby. I need to be punished. Like, it's, that's, that's how I see this. So, Here. anybody want to play part cheesy? She's... What? <sighs> this is like... Feels like the Steam like uh, ad or not ad trailer for like a hunting game or a Discovery Channel like intro. <laughs> I don't know. Welcome back. I am as always delighted that you're here. I have no card. She's gonna be so upset. So then, what more has been found? You return without any more of my cards. Yet you return nonetheless. <laughs> Why is that, do you think? I can't help you without the cards. I want them found. I want them returned to me. Please, my friend. That's all I have to say for now. Secrets remain buried and the night grows darker. I'll see you again. You can count on that. Be careful. Where the wolves go, the ravens follow. Unlucky. Chapter 3. In middle school? Why should I even care? Anybody can kiss anybody. Stupid. Stupid. Great. You have a right to be upset. That girl's a bitch. That is so. I'm, I'm still mad. That is so awkward. There's no way a human being exists like that. Sure, like they'll do things terrible behind their back. That was so confrontational and like weird. I'm so annoyed. This is weird. I mean, I can't move. <gasps> did I just hear a camera? I think I did. Can we go inside? Like, this is ridiculous, and we all know it. Oh, my God. I'm not going to call back. 
Could be a Wendigo. Hide. Now jump scare him. No, you leave me alone. Whoa, it's just me. <sighs> Sorry. Hey, um. You, uh, you ran off. <laughs> oh, God. Honest. Honest. I think that game just got a little too intense for me. I... Yeah, I know what you mean. Cautious about what happened, Drek. So you and Emma... Yep, Drek, go for it. With this music, it's perfect. Guess Emma's had a thing for you all along, huh? What? No, 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 no way. She was just trying to make Jacob jealous. I was just playing along. You seem to enjoy playing along. Uh, I enjoyed helping Emma make Jacob jealous. That's about it. Yeah, go for it. Now we can die while making out. <laughs> Ugh. Did you hear that? Mm -hmm. Should we look? Mm -hmm. Oh, this is going to go great. Climb the tree? Yeah, climb the tree. I'm failing the next one. Whatever. Yep. <laughs> we'll 
double dodge this. <laughs> Missing the next one. <laughs> Whatever it is, I'm gonna miss it. Oh no, it's gonna be... Ah, oh, fuck. I, this is not good. This is... Okay, I'll succeed the next one. Oh, he's fucking sad. <laughs> My girlfriend's a fucking whore, man. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. Needs work. Hey. Uh, yeah. I guess you found that. Of course. Oh, God. Sneaking down here was a little more fun when we thought we could get caught, huh? Yeah, I, uh, I guess. Jacob, I thought we agreed that this, us, was just supposed to be some summer fun. Yeah, no, no. Now nah, he I just. Do you think the werewolf is saying oh, you can't God. just show yeah. them to I mean, me and do, not expect believe, me to not want to pop them? Pop, pop them in my you know, mouth. in front of everyone. Jesus wept. French, are we twelve? No, but Nick is. Kind of. <laughs> you know, I love the guy, but I don't think he's actually ever seen a girl naked before. Well, I hate to break it to you, but he just had his tongue down my throat, and he definitely knew what to do with it. <laughs> You you really love fucking with me, huh? Lighten up, Sourpuss, please. This is not how the night was supposed to go. What? You know what? Nothing. No Nothing, never mind. <sighs> Fine. You can stand here, sulking. Driving yourself crazy imagining Nick's tongue in my mouth. Ah, oh, come on. Or you can go grab us some towels. What do you need towels for? Well, we agreed. Summer fun, right? Apparently, summer is not quite over. Reject her. How do I reject? Let me reject. Okay. Oh, fuck. Maybe I should play along with this. And then when I have the opportunity to save her, I don't. And then I hit this, like, really sick one-liner, like, serves you right, bitch, you know? Like right at that moment, then her head gets smushed. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so bad. What is that? Mm. Now go fix the car, dude. How about that? Is that a card? I refuse. Ruining the playthrough. You're not gonna get the full experience when you play it like this. Hmm. What are these 
these numbers. Those are dates for full moons, I bet. Manageable, but unsustainable. All right, where's the girl? Am I supposed to see something here? Probably everything's fine. Yeah. <sighs> God damn it. No towels. <gasps> what? There's no towels. None? There's exactly zero. You dick. God, what the hell? But what if I... Fuck, I want to see if I can just leave her. I don't think I can. Unforch. Nope. Oh, she's already naked. Excellent. Okay, well, I guess we could just, like, drip dry or... You, know, you could shake it out doggy style. Wow, you really know how to talk to a girl, don't you? Look, you can't just pretend that it didn't happen. Oh, but I can because you see, oh, help, help! I'm, I'm drowning, and I, I need a big, strong, not at all insecure man to come save me. <laughs> Accusatory. Yeah. Well, why don't you ask Nick? Okay, I'm sure he'd love to rescue you. I'm ignoring you. You took your clothes off, to be fair. Oh, oh we're dead. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Got ya. What the hell, man? Oh, okay. Okay, now you're gonna get it. See? <laughs> <laughs> Does this water seem muddy? Hey! Glitch! <laughs> oh, like slimy. Being, uh, Splasher, we gotta we gotta play it, we gotta lead her on. Attack! <laughs> Pull her under. Dick move. Flirt. Okay, hey. Look. <clears throat> Check this out. Uh, okay. <sighs> Take a picture of me. Yeah, for your, like, um, little subscribers or whatever, top ten guys who will keep you satisfied at summer camp. Oh, so I get nine more? What? What? Owned? Oh, that's when they were running and the shot happened. Oh, shit, the road over here. Oh, gotta be fucking kidding me. <sighs> Dive in or help Abby. What happens if I just let it run out? I'm curious. Emma! 
Jacob, hmm? over here. Did you hear that? What? Uh, it was like a, like a scream. And it, it sounded like Abby, but like not the good kind of scream. I can't hear you. Okay, look, just, just hold on. I'm gonna go check it out. What? Seriously? <laughs> like her fucking mouth is just, it's, a, it's like sucking in the universe. That was some mighty fine social disruption there, Caitlin, I have to say. Ah, or was it just the nudge that Abby needed? You're an evil genius. Hmm? Who do you think is gonna make the first move? Nick or Abby? Ooh, good cue. My bet's on either. I don't know, Nick's got the beast in him. Huh, if by beast you mean some sort of mild-mannered baby deer. Hey, don't let that cute preppy aesthetic fool you. It's like a steel barbecue grill under that shirt. <laughs> so, you noticed that too, huh? So, what do you guys want to do now? We can keep playing. Yeah? Just the three of us? Alright, Dylan. Truth or... Uh, I sound like Abby. Oh my gosh. Uh, we gotta help her. <laughs> Wait, where did it come from? This way. Come on. Abby! Help! Please! Nick! Help him! Uh, impatient, worried. Where's Nick? Let's do worried. Where's Nick? I... Go after Nick! Go! Great words. Assertive, I've got this. Okay, I've got this. That shotgun's got a hell of a spread. Be careful. Oh, it's already, okay. It's already foreshadowing. running into dun, 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 dun. take shortcut follow path what's shortcut gotta get there fast oh, fuck. Whatever it is. <sighs> Follow the path. What kind of bridge? behind him. Let's get back to the fire. Uh. 
<laughs> oh, yeah, this guy. <laughs> Forgot I sent him out there. <sighs> Fucking naked, too. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> There's a half naked girl waiting for you back there, Jacob. What are you doing? Call out. Hello? Abby? I like this shot. Please, please, man, just, just let me down, okay? Just, don't hurt me, please. Oh, Jesus Christ, what the fuck are you doing? He's gonna let me down. He's gonna cut the rope. If you close your eyes. No, oh, oh. what are you doing? Shh. Stop. Help. Shh. Help. Tastes bad, don't it? It's for your own good. Where are you off to now, girly? So I guess that blood is like, maybe the werewolves don't like it. Keeps them away from me. I don't know. Oh, she's gonna be so disappointed. Fuck. Seems like just a blink, and you're back to see me again. So, then, what have we got? Oh, you didn't find any of my cards. Please do look up for them. I want to help you, really. I do. Back to it then. Back to Hackett's Quarry. Back to Hackett's Quarry you go. Oh, the fun you'll have. Interesting. It was, I, I, I don't even know what it was. It was so fast, and, and there was a, uh, there was a hunter, and it was just... <sighs> oh, Abby. Here. What? Oh, try drawing. <laughs> drawing what? <laughs> uh, can you draw what attacked you? Oh, that makes sense. Okay. <laughs> 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 
Okay, he needs to be patched up. He's gonna bleed out. Look at him. Nick. Hey, buddy. Can you tell us what happened? I'm a little attacked. Where's Happy? He's super out of it, man. We need to know what happened. All right. There was... There was a guy there, but... There was some kind of... Some kind of animal... The hell? What fucking kind of animal does this? Let me grab a Sprite. Did I, did I get... Is, is Abby? Yeah, hey, she, hey, she's okay, dude. She's right over there. Oh, because... Teeth were on top of me. I think it was a bear. Full-size bear would have crushed him. There's no way. I, I thought we don't get bears right here. No, uh, Oh, fuck. Look at that. Oh, fuck. shit. That black stuff? That's that's what? infection. That's... And it's it, it's spreading. This is bad. This is really bad, dude. Apply pressure. No. Just look at it. Ryan. We should amputate. We should cut it off before the infection spreads. Uh... I, I agree. Why would we do that? I don't know, man. Look at that black stuff. What What do you think it is? Do I look like a doctor? Yeah, let's cut it off. I agree. We don't know what we're dealing with, so let's remove the problem. Let's not be stupid. You better run. Very brave. All right. So, uh, Lodge is sounding pretty good right about now, yeah? Okay. Okay. You were saying, Shall we look? Lodge? Are you stupid? Let's get out of here. Oh, but what about Jacob and Emma? What if they come back and can't find us? They'll be fine. Fuck those guys. Pretty sure they're off having the time of their life. Right now we gotta make sure Nick and Abby are okay. Nick's legs all sorts of fucked up. I don't know how we're gonna get him all the way back. I got it. All right, let's go. Here's a riddle for you. What's got two thumbs and is suddenly riding solo on a freaky island in the dark? This fool. <laughs> well, one thumb. One available thumb. Okay. Mm. And it was here, on a strange, uninhabited island, that this brave young soul found herself. A 
Okay, full disclosure, I've suddenly found myself on a, a strange, tiny little island all alone with nothing to do but show you guys around. So, there's a tree house over there. I'm gonna go and see if I can't dish out some of that sweet, sweet panoramic goodness. Because here's the thing, not that I wanna go back because I don't, but even if I did, I can't because then I'd look like the super needy one when he was the one who, who stormed off in the first place. God, you know what? Sorry, I'm venting. Oh, explore venting. You know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. To the treehouse, fellow explorers. <laughs> Excellent. All right. So this island is like an unexcavated part of the quarry that rewilded itself after it flooded into the lake. Am I the only, I, I hate Pretty how they're cool, walking huh? around barefoot. It bothers me. You're you gonna know, step on a nail. When I was little, I used to think that islands just kind of would float in the middle of the water, kind of like an airbed. But I'm older and wiser now and realize that not everything's always as it seems. Kind of like how you thought you were just having a hot summer fling and then it turns into babysitting a big hairy man child. It's all sad because you don't want to go steady with him and write him love letters every freaking day. And while we're talking about it, you don't mind that we're talking about it, right? Why, why is it up to me to justify my feelings when he's the one who got all blah about it, you know? <sighs> oh, look. A metaphor in the narrative by means of fork in the road. How fitting. Here's the big question. Do I take the high road, literally, and forget about it? Or do I continue on the path I'm on and keep ranting about my stupid dumb life? I guess since this isn't live, the choice is There's someone back there. There's someone back there. All right, stop rambling, because okay, no one cares. Okay, moving up in the world. Let's do this. Now, you might notice the darling rustic vibes this walkway is radiating, and that's no accident. I don't know what y'all are doing with your walkways, but if you're not spending a full hour pulling a splinter out of a snotty kid's finger, don't you dare call it authentic. Don't worry, the kid was fine. I'm a good counselor, and what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Oh, God, I'm, I'm getting so fucking tired of that phrase. That I'm stuck. There we go. Boop, boop, boop. I hope I get a fucking splinter. This is where we're heading. Not too shabby. Well, literally is too shabby. But these views, oh man, you're gonna blow your tops. There's also a zip line, which, eh, I guess you can watch me crap my pants on that thing. What the hell? I'm here, aren't I? I'm gonna carpe this DM so damn hard it won't know what hit it. First, we gotta get there. And there's still so much to talk about. Annoyed, compassionate. I hope Abby's okay. Annoyed. Because I'm a bitch. You know what Jacob's real problem is? He thinks he's starring in his own movie. He sees everything like it's happening to him. She says, recording her own reality show. Ugh, whatever. He wants to be with me because he thinks it'll make him happy, when I don't think he's even ever thought about what I want. Okay, that's not true. Honestly, I think I'm deflecting. I know he'll meet someone at college and forget all about me. Good for him. He deserves it. Maybe I should start going all freaky clingy and stuff. Maybe that'll scare him off. Like, like show up at his house in a, in a wedding dress or something like that. Low-key actually considering it. But hey. Here I go again, trying to turn everything I do into some sort of dramatic experiment. Okay.
If you fucking have another monologue, we're gonna have a problem. And here we are, as promised, one extremely rickety and even more underwhelming treehouse. In another world, perhaps young Jacob and I would settle down here and play house together. Honey, I'm home. What's that now? I forgot the children's bedtime. Well now, that's a fine how do you do. Take it all in, folks. That's the summer camp experience right there, and... Oh, look. It seems somebody forgot to clear the place out. I guess one of the kids left their stuff, or maybe one of the guys back there? But... I don't recognize this. Did you hear that? Looks like we have a choice on our hands. Do we snoop through someone else's belongings? Or do we open the spooky trap door and die a horrible, painful death? There are literally no radios for you. Search, uh, open the trap door. <sighs> Goodbye, cruel world. The final curtain is calling and there's no time for an encore. I got it. He's okay. Are you in pain? No, no, sorry. I'm just... I'm really hungry. We'll get you some food inside, okay? Yeah, okay. Come on, come on. Oh, man. I can eat a horse. Well, I don't know if we'll be able to find you a horse, but maybe some granola? Oh, yuck, I hate granola. This will open the nurse's station. Should be plenty of stuff in there. Well, hopefully we can just get him cleaned up for now. I'll get you something to eat. You and I are gonna find a landline. Mm. Oh, uh, yeah. Um, isn't there one in Mr. H's office? Yup. We'll come meet you. Copy that. Do you think that whatever attacked them out there is, I don't know, has their scent or something? What? I don't know, like what if it got a taste for blood and now it's gonna track them down? I, I doubt it. I just feel like if we stick with them, we're sitting ducks, I don't know. I really don't think that whatever attacked them out in the woods is gonna get into the lodge. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah you're, you're probably This right. motherfucker's gonna stop mumbling, <sighs> man. Let's go call for backup. It's pretty weird to see this place so dead. You never came down here at night while camp was in session? What? No, did you? A couple times, yeah. yeah. What? Where are you going? I, 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 I thought I just heard my name. I didn't hear anything. I think Nick's injuries are as bad as we thought. That's good news. Well, that's good news. Yeah. So what now? We gotta call for help. Who should I call? Uh, Mr. H? 
The only number I got is to this phone. Okay, then 911. What? You mean 911? Who says 911? What the fuck? I don't know. 911? Anyway, <laughs> yeah, but like, what should I ask for? Like, police? Ambulance? Huh. It's like, what the fuck are you saying? Why? Uh, do we have to be specific? Well, do you need to specifically ask for an ambulance, or can you just say, like, help, help? So they'll say, 911, what's your emergency? And I'll say, help, help. My friend may have been attacked by a bear, or maybe not a bear, but definitely an animal with teeth. And we're not sure how many there are out there right now, uh, and or how smart they are, so they may be mounting an attack on us right now. So just, like, send a whole bunch of ambulances just to be sure. Yeah, yeah, that's that's good. Okay. You know, just let's just not call the police. We've got a gun. Nine one one. What's wrong? Dead. Oh. Sure, you didn't hang up. Well, did you hang up? How could I have hung up? What's I don't know. About you it? know, maybe you slipped and. Hung up or something. Do you know how he phones tripped. work? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Real phones, not cell phones? Do you know how phones work? Okay, well, you broke it. I did not. Dude, how could you break it like okay, that? So this now we can't get a no the go. Here. No one has signal. Is there anywhere else in the camp that has a landline? Well, not a landline. What? The radio hut has some old broadcast gear. Where, where you do your announcements? Where I curate my sweet summer jams, yeah, and where I do the PA announcements. It has some old equipment there. I think we could probably break something up and get a message out. All right, yeah. Let's, oh. let's head over there and see if we can contact somebody. Put that back, Dylan. No. Aggressive. You gotta be fucking crazy if you think I'm gonna go out there without something to defend myself. It's more of a safety concern. Oh, do you think I'm gonna shoot my eye out? Or your whole head. Don't be a dick, man. I know how to use this. Okay. Uh, it's, it's probably the weather. What weather, Ryan? Maybe, maybe it was the bears. Bear. And why does everyone blame everything on bears? Okay. Ryan so is for the sake of argument, out of his mind. What if that bear that uh, cut everything. our phone line and just cut out all the power? What if that bear is waiting for us out in the hallway? Fair point. Thank you. We should probably tell Caitlin that we're going to the radio hut. They're probably freaks. Yeah, okay. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, we should Damn. probably leave that with Caitlin. Clear! <laughs> Does she need it? Do you think she really needs it, though? Uh, she needs it just as much as we do. If she's staying in the lodge, we're going out there. You literally just said there might be something dangerous in the lodge. When? Like, 20 seconds ago. Okay, sure, but... That's because I really wanted the gun. Just give her the gun, man. Keep the gun. No. Fuck that. I'm keeping it. Dude, <laughs> if those hunter guys come back, she's basically a sitting duck in here. You're being really selfish right now. It's not a good look on you. No, I'm just being safe. I can't believe you're being such an asshole right now. Look, you don't tell me what to do, man, okay? I'm sorry, but it's it's not gonna happen. What are we even what are we even talking about? Just give her the gun. We don't need it. We already have a gun. It's... Fuck. <laughs> Frustrated. You finished? Are you finished berating me? Well, I could go on, but please take your turn. <sighs> Look, I know that you're Mr. Large and in charge in a crisis. And that's great, but I finally feel like I have one piece 
of control over the situation, and you want me to give that up, and that's just brutal, dude. It's, it's not worth having this argument with you. Well, you started it, man. <laughs> Am I interrupting something? Chin up, big guy. It, I wouldn't really know what to do with it, okay? I trust you. Oh, thank you so much, Dylan. You're so generous and handsome. Yeah, no problem. Don't mention it. I, I wanted to keep it. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, I've got no cards. She's going to be so sad. Oh, good to see you. Good to see you. <sighs> A time again, is it? Why do you come? Why do you come if you've not found my cards? There are truths in the cards. Truths that can only be revealed if you bring them to me. So it's goodbye again. I'll leave you with this. Remember who your friends are. Remember who's looking out for you. Anything to eat. The kitchen's pretty cleaned out. But I brought you sheep. I left my bag. I, I brought you this. Yes. That was. Fuck. I don't even know what happened. It was all just a blur. As long as we still have each other. How are you feeling? Fuck. Okay, I guess. Okay. Compassionate, bitter. You ran away. Bitter. You ran away. What? It jumped on me, and you ran away. You just left me there. Nick, I, 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 I didn't know what to do. I mean, I thought... Well, you'd I, rather I, just save yourself, huh? I, no, no. Uh, uh. All right, they're off to find a radio or something. What's with the, um... Uh, oh, uh, we found another in Mr. H's office, so, just in case. Oh, what happened to the lights? Not sure. Any better? I'm doing okay. Kinda. Wait, are they going to the radio hut? <sighs> Phone's dead. They're gonna try to send out an SOS or something. We're holding down the fort. Said Dylan and Ryan already left. Wait, stay here. I'll check it out. We'll be fine. Just be careful. Stay alert. Back to this awkwardness. There's a shiny in the north right. Look, look, see? How's that gun staying on her shoulder? It's like fucking floating. C. 
Santa. No sign of them. When you find them, run them. And keep me posted, Bobby. So this may not be like the best time per se, but like... What? Yeah, so like I was just, you know, thinking about like the start of summer and when we first met and started camp. And I, I don't know. Well, like now that summer's over and... <laughs> what just happened? You know, that, like the last time we're going to see each other, you know? Oh, I'm sorry, Nick. What, what are you saying? Don't worry about Caitlin, she's tough. I know. I'm sorry, Nick. I'm just distracted. Let's just get through the night, uh, okay? You're hard to read. Wait, what? You're not even listening, are you? No, no, I'm. I'm wow. Well, yeah. I think I was that boring. Gosh. You're hurt. I just want to make sure we're safe, okay? What is going on out there, Caitlin? We have died. We have died. It's okay. I've got this. Oh, here we go. <laughs> He's just slow walking. <laughs> oh my god. What happened? Jesus, where's the gun? We gotta get out. No, we have to hide. Run or hide. Let's hide and get caught. Quick.
Dude, it's Morbin time, literally. So, the Radio Hut has, like, an actual radio? I thought it was just, like, for your morning announcements. Oh, yeah, yeah, it used to be more of a actual radio station, actually. Um, mm. uh, it, you know, I mean, it is still technically, but nobody brings their radio to camp anymore. Yeah. It's weird, actually, that there used to be kids with their radio and their portable CD player. They have, like, fucking thing. green grass vision. You know, nowadays, everything we need is on the phone, but Mr. Hackett takes it on the first day at camp so that we're not distracted by technology. Um, technology. It giveth and it taketh. So, is is that something, like... Oh, I don't know why it turned me around, too. Camp radio? No, like, uh, DJ or music or something. Oh, um, yeah, I mean, I like music, but I think I want to major in, um, quantum physics. Quantum Wait, physics? what? <laughs> Geek. <laughs> Loser. Yeah. Nerd. Uh, you don't really seem like a science guy. Oh, yeah, I mean, you know, not, not here. Mm. This is the bridge that, like, almost breaks. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm so completely fascinated by this. What do you mean by not here? Not here at camp. I do that at home, and then here, I, um... You're a wise, <laughs> wise, cracking smartass? <laughs> uh, that's a little harsh, but... Uh... No? Okay, so maybe I was a little nervous when I arrived in an uncomfortable social situation, and I overcompensated a little bit, by making a bunch of jokes. You played into it. Yeah, I mean, people kind of enjoyed the blasé Dylan. Uh, and do, do you enjoy the blasé Dylan? <laughs> Not yet, like, you know, whatever, man, it's pretty cool, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like Dylan Dylan. Well, it's nice to meet you, Dylan Dylan. I'm Ryan Ryan. Mm. Well, actually, I'm, let's get the fuck out of here, Ryan. Yeah, I like him. He's that makes a lot of sense. We're back at camp. I guess that's the radio right up there, the red. Now he. I love choices. Batchist. Hell yeah. That kind of scared me. Can you fuck off? Jesus, man. Just walk up the other side of the stairs, please. It's Batman. All good? Confident, uncertain, all good. All good? This is kind of a dump, huh? Okay, when I was a camper Not here, he? it was barely working. It hadn't been Have used you for been years, watching and it took me a really long time, actually, Shirley's to cracked get out this of place its cleaned mind. up and yep. looking the way it is. So, I'm sorry if it's not up to your standards, but I've been putting in a lot of TLC. Okay, okay. okay. Let me get this set up. Boys, it's frustrating, though, because there's so many situations where it's like... The characters Anything are smarter, but they just make mean? stupid decisions for the sake of keeping the, the power plot tools? going or making it more complicated. No. And it annoys um, me. That's Mr. H. Like, I know you're smarter than this. More storage, Why are you doing it? So, it's kind of how he lets me keep the station going. <laughs> gotcha. 
So, uh, how far does it go? Oh, um, well, it was designed just to broadcast to the PAs around camp for announcements and to, you know, portable radios and whatever. So, I think the range is about a mile. Uh, dismissive, don't care. That doesn't seem like it's gonna help us much. <laughs> don't underestimate the power of technology. Uh, is technology the right word? No, yeah, you're right. This is more like magic, man. Oh, so you would be the magician? In a manner of speaking, sure. Anyways, this thing's gonna need a bit of a power up, um, but that's where this comes in. Dust magnet. It's supposed to be a signal booster. It's kind of janky looking, but it's worth giving a shot. So, we can actually talk to people with this thing? Yeah, well, it's not a two-way radio, so, um, you know, we can talk, uh, but then the best we can do is switch it over to the receiver and see if anyone broadcasts anything back, which is unlikely, but... Well, it, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. Yeah. So, what should I say? Uh, just, like, make it sound urgent. Okay. How's it going out there? This is, uh, uh, we need help. This is, uh, we are counselors <laughs> at Hackett's Quarry Summer Camp, and there's been a horrible accident attack, some stuff bad here. We need your help. Uh, there is a swarm of bears, and they are everywhere, and there's these hunters, <laughs> too, and they seem to be shooting at the bears, but also at us, um, which is not good, and a few of our friends are hurt, and um, we are in desperate need of help, so please, I mean, there's vicious bears, and uh, we don't know what to do, so please uh, come help us, <laughs> SOS. Uh, this is a, an emergency, <laughs> S save our ship. Come on down, please help us. This <laughs> was uh, excellent. Did I do good? Was that? Swarm of bears? Yeah. <laughs> heard of bears. <laughs> yeah, I've heard of bears, but. Oh my god. All right, I, I guess I should just like switch this over to the receiver and see if we get anything back. Yeah, okay, yeah, I'm gonna keep an eye out while you do all this techie stuff. <laughs> okay, yeah, sure. I do not sound like that. That's so funny. Now you are looking directly at that thing, right? Directly That's at it. it. Okay, let's look away. It's probably not a big deal. Wait, did he did he say lodge? I don't know. Huh? Turn, reassuring. Yep, that's totally us. Holy shit, they're talking about us. Fuck, 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 what the fuck, man? How? Because we just told them on the fucking radio. Fuck. They know where we are, man. We can't stay here. Okay, let's let, let's stay calm, okay? Um, let's let's go find Caitlin and everybody, okay? Okay, yeah. Okay. Yep, run outside. Ah! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Why didn't you tell me that there's something out there? Fuck you. Fuck you! I I I didn't know what I saw. But you saw something, and you didn't think that you should fucking tell me. I let's, forgot. Let's I mean, argue the, about it right the now. The guys came on the radio. Uh, Ryan. Is it a bear? I don't think bears can jump like that. Oh. 
What is that? Caitlin, Abby, and Nick, they're coming up the path. Oh, shit. They're coming toward us. We, we, we gotta warn them. Um, what about the PA? Up top? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, we can tell um, them to hide or something. Uh, oh, God. Oh, fuck, no. Oh, shit. Uh, the... uh, hold the button. Uh, Caitlin, get into a building now. Do not come up here. There's an animal outside the radio hut. Get into the... Oh, fuck, dude. They're gone. Uh, well, we gotta do something. Come on. Mm, we gotta kill it. We gotta kill it. Yep. That's not a normal animal, man. I don't think a gun's gonna cut it. Confident. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? I don't know, man. I just don't think it's a good idea to go running out guns blazing against some random ass super animal. Well, what the hell else can we do? Well, if it's got hearing like a like a dog, maybe. Uh, I mean, we could. We could play a really high-pitched feedback loop and crank it to the max, and I mean, it would hurt like hell, but. Okay, fine, let's do it, feedback thing. Dang it! <sighs> okay, come on, Dylan, let's do this. Um... Almost. Mm, yeah, calm. Hey, Dylan, just take a breath. I'm sure you can figure it out. Okay, yeah, right. There's something missing. I do. What's missing? What the fuck? Oh shit, it, it's attacking the cabins. Oh crap, it knocked out the wire. Okay, uh, fix it, I'll cover you. What? Cover you? What? Why don't we just, just stay inside? We're fine. Why, why? What is it? Okay. Hey, asshole! Does he mean he has to fix the wire that's outside? Or... Is it safe? We're okay for now. I think we're okay for now. We ran into one of those hunter guys. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, chase us out of the lodge. I think we lost him on the way up here. You get a message out? I think so. Great. What the hell is going on up there? It just attacked us. Holy shrimp, you should have seen it. Dylan made some sort of crazy feedback loop and it scared it off. Ah, it was nothing. A feedback loop? Well, you know, I figured if it's like most animals, then 
They would have sensitive hearing, so... Fucking fuck, man. Caitlin, where's your gun? I lost it. One of the friendly locals wanted to say hi. What the fuck? Did she shoot at us? Who's I there? Patch girl. Who was she? Should we follow her? Dylan, what is that? <gasps> oh my god! <gasps> oh, the sadness. Like that's one less vermin in the world. Let's a take card. a look once oh, more. Oh, she's so sad. I'm sorry, my bad. No cards means no reading. Simple as that. Keep looking, though. There are still cards to find somewhere out there. Yeah. We spend so much time looking toward the future. It's easy to forget that the past holds secrets, too. Worth remembering that. So it's goodbye again. I'll be here. I'll wait for you. Bye, bitch. Is she like one of those hunter dudes? I don't think so. Rational, compassionate. Should we do something? What can we do? She's dead. I mean, with the body. <sighs> That's Kaylee Hackett. Mr. H's daughter? I thought she went home with her brother. Kaylee. Yeah. I thought so, too. Oh, man. Poor Kaylee. Nick. You smell so good. Let's go. Why would anyone want to shoot Kaylee Hackett? Should we call someone, oh, or...? Fuck, Chris! How are we gonna tell Chris? Nick, what are you? I don't want to taste you. Hey! Come here, huh? Ugh, Nick, what the hell? Ugh, get off! Ugh, watch out! I said get off! Nick? Uh, 
What did I do? I... I don't know. He's so cold. Okay, let's get him in the pool house. Dry him off. <laughs> Try to rest. I'm sorry. Didn't she get bit too? We need to be keeping a record of everything that happens for the police. Mm. Yeah, dead girl in the pool needs some explaining. Huh? I guess she just turned slower because she Easy, got bit less, man. maybe? Maybe like photos, whatever we can. I've got a funny feeling that the cops are not going to want to believe any of this crazy shit unless we've got some hard proof. From now on. If you got your phone and you see something, take a photo or a video or whatever. Yeah. You okay over there, Abby? Look, why don't you look around and see if you can find anything to help make Nick more comfortable? Okay, we're looking for a blankie. That's... what? This place was so different, like 12 hours ago. Well, that doesn't fucking help. Um, hmm. Alrighty. Okay. Nope. Man, there's nothing in these showers. Caleb is. <clears throat> that looks freaky. Okay, in the toilets. I'm just gonna hang out with him. Move the space heater a little closer, maybe. Is that better? Thanks. Yo, something is not right with that boy. Dude is real sick. Did you see how he freaked out in the water? Yeah, he was like a... He was like a fish out of water. Right? Uh, sure. You know, something was weird when I tried to clean his wounds, too. At the lodge. What do you mean? Well, all of his clothes were bloody, but I couldn't find where he was bit. Or scratched, or whatever. He just kept moving around, like he didn't want me to see how badly he was hurt. Huh. Mm, rabies? He's not frothing in the mouth. <sighs> I think Abby would beg to differ. Point. Yeah, isn't aquaphobia a symptom of rabies? If he has Hydrophobia, rabies, yeah. the best but thing you can I do for him is literally blow his head off. Not just getting wet. This was like, like there's no way they can put him in a coma. Tub. He's just dead. <laughs> yeah. At this point. Abby. Yeah? Can I ask you something? Of course. Do you like me? Hmm. I don't know what's going on with you right now, but I like the old Nick better. I knew it. I knew it. You didn't like me at all, do you? That's not what I said. Why won't you tell me the truth? I am telling you the truth. I only hung out with you because you seem so desperate. 
poor pathetic little Abby ready to throw herself at the first guy that came along. Easy pickings. Right off the bone. This isn't you. This this isn't you. I... <gasps> Whoa. Abby! Whoa! Abby, everything okay? Holy shit. Hello? <laughs> what the fuck? I mean, that was pretty cool. Just the skin just, just fucking flying off I like that. I killed him. I mean, dead people don't usually jump out of windows and run into the forest. Uh, um, you did what you have to. Abby, he was gonna hurt you. You were defending yourself. I, I don't, I don't know that for sure. I do. No. No. It was you or him. And, well, that definitely wasn't him. Man, this is so fucked. Hey! Oh, shit. Where the fuck is Chris Hackett? Who is it? Who's there? I need your help. Please. Who are you? My name is Laura Kearney. So? Go let me in. It's not safe out here. Uh, yeah, there's a crazy woman with a gun killing people. I'm not killing people. Holy shit, you... Laura Kearney? You're Laura Kearney? Yes? Oh my god, I know all about you. You were supposed to be working, uh, helping out in the nurse's office, right? And you never showed up? Uh, you and the guy, what's his name? Max? Yes, Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Hackett said that you had changed your mind last minute. I, I think that we should, I think that we should listen to her inside. Uh, no. I don't know. I don't trust her. Dude, it's dangerous out there. Yeah, she's dangerous. Whatever, man. You're not in charge. Dude, fuck, Hello. Dylan. Okay. Ah. Time to get scolded again. Here we are again. Just you and me. Why don't we take another look at what you've found? Fuck. Did you look hard enough? These Cards aren't just trinkets. You should know this by now. They they can help you. I can help you. <laughs> Off the, you go then. Talk, they talk. Just spit out food. One day I'll left. Remember. It's not terribly exciting. That's disgusting. So, uh, why didn't you come? Where have you been for the past two months? We did come. One night early. That was our mistake. My ears, please.
Max. Hey. Come here. Come on. Get in there. Fucking do it. Oh, his skin might have blew off. You goddamn kids. Max. Shut up. Damn. You can't just shut up. This is an interrogation. I ask, you answer. <clears throat> Name. Mm, compliant. No. Angry. Eat shit. When I say name, you give me your name. Do I make myself clear? You've got my license, can you read? I am an officer of the law. I need you to do as you're told and answer the goddamned questions. I don't care. I don't care what you are. You can't hold us like this. This isn't legal. I want a lawyer. Stop. You need to shut your mouth and listen to me or there is going to be a problem. Do we have a problem? Okay, Sheriff. Hack it. Wait, hack it? Like... Chris Hackett? Don't change the subject. What the fuck is going on here, man? You have no idea what's going on here. Not a goddamn clue. You just stepped in some grade A double prime, go ahead and kill yourself cosmic type shit, young lady. And your only option is to buckle the fuck up and do what I say. Do you understand? All right, let's please try to stop trying to. Please. Stop trying to intimidate me and tell me what the fuck is going on. Is, Ma is Max alive? I feel like I'm going crazy. What? Not gonna lash out. Let's go. Ah, oh, fuck! I should have lashed out. I thought he was unbarring me or unthingamajigging hey. me. Hey, you asshole! You want to tell us what the fuck's going on? Max! I know you hear me. Are you okay? Mm. Max! Are you okay? Yeah. Why I mean, does he have underwear? Didn't that I'm shit kind of all mixed up, but... More or less intact, I think. Ugh. Laura? Yeah? Why am I naked? What? I mean, after we got attacked, the next thing I know, I'm waking up in a jail cell, and you're gone, 
and now you're back again, and, and, and I'm super naked, and there's blood and stuff everywhere. I mean, what the fuck happened? I was kind of hoping you could tell me what happened. I feel like I remember bits and pieces, but none of it makes any sense. Yeah, same. I, I feel like... Were we drugged? I feel like maybe we were drugged. By a cop? Do they do that? Who does this guy think he is? <laughs> Sheriff of North Kill, apparently. That's the most, like, soy... Who do you think you are yeah. I've ever heard? Max. What? Did you even look at the map? Packet's Quarry in North Kill. That's the town. Oh. And it gets better. I gotta look at his name badge and... Oh my god. Get dressed. What's he giving you? Not gonna be the guest of honor at Fashion Week, I'll tell you that much. Hey! Did I say you could talk to each other? Mm. Sorry, sir. It won't Sorry, again, sir. sir. We'll be quiet. We will? Max? Hey, what'd you do with my real girlfriend? Now he? Yo. I saw on Skko's stream that you are on the front page of the website. Alright, buddy. Hands through the bars. Come on. Your turn. Let's go. I'm not going anywhere. We can talk right here. Come on. Hey! Hey! Let's get the fuck off! Come on! Move! Good boy. Hey! Stop struggling! Hey! Leave him, leave him alone! Yeah, leave me alone, asshole. Both of you shut up! Fuck you! I said shut up! Treat us like this! You're hurting it! Hey! Okay. Grr. Okay. Think, Laura, think. There's gotta be something in here you can use. Our urine, like in Shanghai Noon. If I can find a piece of stick, I can... While the town of North Kill lay there sleeping, the hag in the woods started weeping. As the bodies decay, the wolves hunt their prey, and the sheriff continues his creeping. If you get, in Shanghai Noon, there's like a, there, he took a chair, so he broke the leg off a chair, so he had a big wooden stick, and then he peed on his shirt to make the shirt wet, and then he tied the, and he like spun the stick with the shirt between two bars and it broke the bars pulled them in pulled them tighter and tighter wet shirt no break or some whatever the fuck it was cool so let's do that ew the fuck? spoon Not a chance. I need some sort of lever. Spoon. I don't know how to combine spoon plus brick, though. Okay, take the spoon. <laughs> that could work. Oh, yeah, this ought to do it. I 
I don't know what the spoon actually did, I'll be honest. Put it back where you found it. You don't want them being kind of sus. Where's my spoon? Watch it, man. I bruise easily. <laughs> Give me a break. The second we get out of here, you're toast, motherfucker. Damn. Sure. Second you get out. What's that supposed to mean? The fuck is that supposed to mean? Hey! What the fuck is that supposed to mean, asshole? Hey, you can't just leave us in here! Come back! <laughs> oh my god. Fuck! <laughs> Pink fuck. <laughs> Much of profanity, dude. <laughs> How'd it go in there? You sing like a canary? Nothing to sing about. I'm sure you've got plenty to confess. <laughs> well, that may be true, but I don't think he's too interested in how I cheated off Mikey Washington in eighth grade chem. Really, though? What happened? He, uh... He just asked a lot of questions. A lot of weirdly specific questions about us and where we were going and why and how I was feeling this morning and I don't know. Nothing I said made him seem any less annoyed. He asked how you were feeling? Yeah. Why, he didn't ask you? No. Huh. Rude. Oh, hey, did you get a look at his name badge? You mean it's not really Detective Dick Whip it? It's Hackett. Sheriff Hackett. You think he's related to Chris Hackett? Oh my god, like THE Chris Hackett? Yeah. OMG. Who's THE Chris Hackett? As in camp leader Mr. Hackett of Hackett's Quarry, remember? Last night feels like a lifetime ago. The fuck does that mean, though? You know? Where we set up? Maybe it's some kind of crazy camp counselor kidnapping ring. That's... I mean... What? Reflective, he's not acting like a kidnapper. Suspicious this is some kind of setup. Like some kind of setup, a, a, a trap. I don't know. Chris Hackett and Sheriff Hackett, there's no way that's a coincidence. Okay. They must be related. Well, what does that prove? They knew we were coming. Maybe it's some kind of kidnapping, extortion, conspiracy. That's a pretty big job. I'm just trying to get us out of here, and I can't get us out of here until I have some clue of why the fuck we're in here. I don't know. What if we can't make sense of it? What? Well, you we have to. Sometimes things just don't make sense. What then? We're just stuck in a backwater jail cell for the rest of our lives?
Uh, this isn't forever. Encouraging. This isn't forever, Max. Y you can't just hold us here forever. He didn't seem too convinced of that. You gotta stay positive. You can't think like that. Why not? Might as well just accept it, right? No, fuck that. Think about the rest of the summer, Max. And school? I mean, I've been dreaming about becoming a vet since I was five years old. I'm not gonna let this fleabag fuckface stop me. We're gonna get out of here. I'm gonna study to be a vet, and you're... gonna... um... What? I'm gonna what? I saw the letter, Max. What are you talking about? The rejection letter for college. I oh, I did it see in that. Your bag. You were poking around in my stuff? I can't believe you didn't tell me. I... I was embarrassed. Your grades were good, and you wrote a great essay? Yeah, apparently not good enough. Fuck! You've been making plans, Max, what the fuck? I don't know, what do you want me to say? Empathetic. I'm sorry, Max, this... This really sucks. That's the thing. I, I started this game hey, it's not the and worst I hated thing both these people. Summer. But after seeing the other characters, I'm sorry. Only people I like. I shouldn't have kept it from you. You know you can talk to me about anything, right? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Okay, let's just focus on getting out of here for now. Great. Sign me up. We need to go over it from the beginning. Like from when we left home? Like from when we ran into the cop. So after we ran into the... Whatever we ran into? Yeah. Actually... Yeah, that's when shit started getting weird. The dude acted super weird when we said we almost hit an animal, you remember that? It was like he already knew or something. Yeah. Yeah, that was really sketchy. What if he's not even a real cop? Well, he's got to be dirty, but... I mean, I think he's a real cop. We're in a police station. I mean, yeah, but there's, like... Nobody else around. Yeah, that is concerning. Especially the whole hack it hack it thing. Let's just go with the idea that they're both in on it. Okay. So we're supposed to meet Chris Hackett at the camp, and instead... There's nobody there, and we get attacked by... Something, and then the cop shows up. That part's all fuzzy for me. Like, I, I remember the steps and a smell like wet fur and a, a dog collar with the name Ian on it. Ian? Ian. I don't think it was a dog that attacked us. Whatever it was was big. Like, person-sized big. Yeah, it really did a number on you. Like, I'm surprised you're not more messed up. Like, like, like I vividly remember the thing's teeth ripping into you. What is messed up about that is... Laura, I don't have a scratch on me. What? Hey, okay, so weird question. Do you remember... before we got lost? You got lost? Well, yeah, but before that, I was all like... Whoa, look at the moon. It's so big, so cool to see a full moon in the middle of the woods, and you were all like, yeah, no shit, Max, it happens once a month? Yeah, so? Right, so, you know, full moon. Yeah. How are they, how are they putting this together? What Already. If, uh... Okay, no. The Stop. other people I'm haven't saying, put it together, you know, maybe and they've there's fought a it. Chance. It was a werewolf. Oh! Are you out of your- What? Goddamn mine? <sighs> Werewolves? Seriously? What the fuck? What? 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 What's so funny? I, I said literally the exact same thing. Okay. Do you, you got anything better? I mean, like, zombies, aliens, time-hopping Draculas? Hmm. 
Shut the fuck up, Ryan. Ryan, right? Yeah? Yeah. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> you let her finish, yes. man. Would it really be so crazy? <laughs> with all the shit that we've been seeing with Nick? With the thing on the roof? Okay, it would really start to explain a lot of stuff. Dylan. I'm just trying to keep an open mind, okay? This is like your ghost stories. How is this so different from your ghost those, stories? Those are, those are just campfire stories. Like, there has to be a rational explanation for everything, for all of this. There's more to all this than you think. Just let me finish, then you can decide for yourself if you believe me or not. I don't care. But I think you should hear all of it. So she showed him a fucked up eye to the prove next few weeks were long. that there's no rational explanation. The cop kept us fed and let us take showers, but aside from that, we barely saw him. Max and I, we talked a lot, as much as we could about what happened that night. It was like trading conspiracy theories. We talked about the cop, the camp, the accident, the woods, the thing in the basement, what happened to Max. We just kept going over it all again and again, and nothing was making sense. Oh, uh, maybe her eye is mini werewolfy. Oh, that makes sense. Sharingan. I can't take this anymore. It's not that bad. They're probably in the same crap at camp. No, I can't take being in here anymore. Oh. Yeah, well, that part's pretty tough. We've got to do something. We've got to get out of here. We need a, a plan. <laughs> we keep saying that. But it's been weeks, so... You know, let me know if you have one. That's really not very helpful, Max. You are forgetting something. What? Just the ETBT tiny detail that I may or may not be a fucking werewolf, you Laura. Keep it down. So what? What can we do, really? We run off into the sunset only to be stopped when I turn into a nasty ass monster and kill you and eat you, and then I run off alone into the sunset with little bits of you stuck in my teeth? Okay, okay, stop. Just one problem at a time. All right, we, we don't even know if that's what's really going on, and we won't until we get the hell out of here. Okay. Well, it seems to me that we only have two real options. We can play nice and try to get this guy on our side. What, so he'll let us go? Or we try to catch him off guard and make our escape. Uh, get him on our good side or try and escape. I don't know if this choice actually matters. Reckless seems more fun. I'm not gonna be nice to this fucker one second longer than I have to. We've got to escape. Cool, okay. So how? I don't know. Knock him out? Not. Laura, you know that's kind of a movie thing only, right? <laughs> I mean, you bang someone on the head, you're more likely to kill them or leave them with permanent brain damage, not just knock them out. Well, what can you do? Yeah. All right. Prison break it is. Right. Prison break it is. Can we have code names? If we're doing code names, I have dibs on Golden Thunder. No, seriously, Max, we're doing this. Flame Wrath. Okay. I'm with you. <laughs> okay. Here's how it's going to go down. Next time he opens your cell to take you to get washed up, you jump him. You tackle him down and take the keys from his belt, drag him into your cell, lock him in there, unlock my cell, and then we'll steal his car and just drive right the fuck out of Dodge. Right, okay, that's not really a plan though. You know, that's just kind of saying let's escape but with a whole lot more words. No, he won't <laughs> be expecting it. We're in a routine now, we'll catch him in the back foot. <laughs>
Come on. Here we go, here we go, here we go. No! Ow! Ow! Careful. Really? Careful. Ah, 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 ah. Really? <laughs> Dang it! It didn't work! Genius. No shower. But what about my shower? No! Shit. I said, <laughs> take your fucking clothes off. Fuck off! Get back! Max, what's going on? <laughs> Get the fuck away from him! Come here. Shut up. Have a seat. Stop! Quit squirming. Said you want to be a vet, right? Call us an internship. Let me go! You're not going to believe it until you see it for yourself. Just fucking ask next time then, dude. Jeez. Don't get too close. She does already believe it. Mm-hmm. Just wrapping things up here. Nah. Down to 20. I don't want to move my hands. What's going to happen? Well, I'll tell you. It's not going to be pretty. But don't worry. I'll be back at dawn. You're really going to leave me here? You'll be fine. Just don't get too close. That's gotta be so uncomfortable, man. Clinical. What Max, you tell me exactly what you're feeling. Well, all right. I don't feel so good. Oh no. Not good, like how? I don't know. Just bad. Come closer. Let me see your eyes. I think I better stay back. Max, I need to observe you. Fucking close enough for you, bitch! <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> he just walked up and screamed and walked back. Max? Max? Hey, okay, what's going on? I'm con what? Oh, let's see it. Let's see it. Fuck! Ah, dang it! Press escape, you can see it. What is this? Is 
so much for depth perception. See what that bastard cop's hiding. There's nothing here. What's he hiding? I think they might have been high when getting the music for the game. It's streamer mode, man. It's royalty free. Hello? Such a hint is a slap in the face. Whose birthday? <sighs> Sigh. Radcliffe and Edward Benson. Wonder who they are. On the Hackett Trail. Freak show goes up in flames. Getting lit tired. <laughs> Is there anything I can interact with up here? Or... Oh, something. I don't know why we're... Whoever was wearing this can't be doing too well. Charge Sheriff's Badge. What? Crazy.
heroin. This must be what he used to knock me out. I can hide this in my cell. So I'm, I'm going back to my cell or? Wait, did I check all of these? Yeah, I did. Locked. Beggars? And I guess I can't leave Max. Better keep snooping, or I could go back to my cell and wait, I guess. I need to lie down. All right, I'm gonna go lay down. You want to tell me what happened? I could ask you the same thing. Why didn't you run? I won't leave Max. I won't leave Max. This doesn't mean I trust you. I don't care. I just want to help him. Turn around, hands against the wall. Seriously? I am too tired to argue. Me too. Well, oh. see so you made yourself at home. Wait, is that my syringe? Fuck. That's what you used to knock me out with, isn't it? This is dangerous. Could you not have used that on Max last night? Maybe I'd still have two good eyes. Yes. Yes, but it's really fucking hard to do. What's this? An education. Watch. Oh, this is where I would have syringed him, huh? Nice job cleaning up the eye. I mean... It's harder than they make out in the textbooks. <laughs> Especially when nobody's helping you. You're the doctor. Uh, animal doctor. And no, I'm not. And I probably never will be. Stuck in here forever. You know... Just because you know, doesn't mean you know, you know? Uh, what? I'm not. This isn't what it seems to be. You're gonna have to be more specific. You and Max are in just as much trouble as I am. My family, we didn't mean to hurt anybody. 
We're just trying to survive like everybody else. Do you understand? Not really. We're gonna end this thing once and for all. We? Yeah. How's your family involved? So, how is your family involved? My family... ...is down at the bottom of a well. What? Family is the most important thing in the world. But if your whole family, you know, like... Every last one of them decided to jump down the bottom of a well, and they're all just... ...hanging on the end of a rope. How can one person be expected to pull them all back out? You can't. So you pull on that rope, and you're just gonna fall right down to the bottom of the well with the rest of them. And what's the point of that? Right, so you... ...you're the one at the top of the well with a rope, and... Yes. I thought that was obvious. Yeah, okay, yeah, I got it. Just forget it. Let's see how smart you really are. What is this? Information. Well, what does it mean? Read it. When full the moon above shines first, the beast internal shall outward burst. One by one leads lambs to slaughter. It stalks your breath, but shuns clear water. And should you yourself be cursed, armed with silver and the first when moon is full before its wane rend the beast that cursed you slain no longer shall you face your okay so kill the werewolf that cursed you and you're free full moon's light yeah mm. keep reading take gun no no, no, no. we're fine i'll take the gun And if it's a bite with which you're faced, cleave limb from torso with great haste. Perchance you'll save your cursed soul before infection takes its toll. Starting to get the picture. It's not a lot to go on. And frankly, it's shit. Why did they have to make it rhyme? I don't know. But it's all we have to go on. Hmm. Kill the werewolf that bit you, and you'll be cured. It has to be silver, has to be full moon. Seems pretty straightforward to me. If you can kill the werewolf, and that's a big if. I just want to cure Max. It's not as straightforward as you think. All right, so why didn't you kill it? If you knew all of this, why didn't was... you just kill it in the storm shelter when you had the chance? It's not so... I'm, I'm, I was... When I... Straightforward? No, yeah, it's so not... You... They're not so easy to hit. I was trying to protect you two. Mm. So what's the plan? So what's the plan? Well, that's where I'm hoping you'll come in. Me? Yeah. Because your studies. What? I haven't even started. Well, you're the best option I got. I've been hunting this damn white wolf under the full moon so long I start to think it doesn't exist, you know? Maybe it doesn't matter because maybe there's another way. Whatever you believe, 
There's got to be some science. And you do science. Why do they cover themselves in blood? I don't get that part. Look. Take some time to think about all this. I'll be back in the morning. Oh, yeah. Scent. Seen okay, enough. Fair. So random veterinarian that hasn't even began her studies, so not a veterinarian. I don't think I'd believe the a word you just said if I hadn't to figuring this out. All right. Got it. So I hadn't seen that. And has one eye. Literally literally half vision. Uh I believe him, sure, whatever, I don't care. I believe him. You can't tell me you really trust that guy now. I didn't say that. I said I believe him about the werewolf stuff, not the science bit. I don't know what he wants. He's a dirty line kidnapping cop, Laura. We should be careful of anything that fucker says. Nope. I don't care. Shut up. Werewolf. Stupid. Wrong. You got bit. I didn't. I'm better. We listen. Well, fuck him. Ugh. He's had his chance to fix this. We're getting out of here and we're going to fix it on our own. Laura? Yeah? I saw what happened. What I did to your eye. Yeah. Is it bad? Yeah, it's pretty bad. I'm so sorry. Uh, empathetic. It wasn't you. I know it wasn't you. I know. But it was. We're gonna okay. fix you, Max. I promise. I promise. said you scrapped an abandoned car. A while back, I, I worked out the rest. Shit. Why? Well, why'd you think, Chris? Jesus, Travis. You're still here? That's fucked up. Fucking bit one of them, Chris. What am I supposed to do? <gasps> oh, shit. He's a werewolf. <gasps> No. Be careful. Put him in a whole lot of mess in your eye. You shot him. You shot him. I'm telling you, I'll hurt you like stars and goes in the show. Shut up. Max! Uh. Max! Uh. What is it? Travis was just in the hall talking, the cop. So? With Chris Hackett. Was he here to let us out? No. He's the werewolf. Max, Chris Hackett is the one that bit you down on the storm shelter. Holy shit, that's... Who would have guessed? I mean, I guess, thinking about it, I could have... And yet you didn't. It all makes sense. That's why Chris's car was at the lodge that night. Travis was protecting him. That's why he followed us, and that's why he didn't kill the werewolf in the storm shelter, because it was his fucking brother. God, it's so obvious. If, if Chris was the one that bit me, then... Kill Chris. Yeah, then that's our cure. That's how we fix you. Jesus, Laura, are we thinking the same thing? Tomorrow we're getting out of here. I'm gonna get Travis's gun and kill Chris Hackett. Oh... <gasps> Hey! Help her! Laura needs help! Uh, Laura! 
Laura, are you okay? God damn it. But what if we kill the werewolf that infected Chris? What the hell is going on? Laura! Give me the keys. You don't have to do this. Demanding. Shut up. Keys. I'd shoot him in like in the foot or something. <laughs> Laura, shoot him too. Laura! I never knew you had it in you. Yeah, you did. What should we do about Sergeant Little Dick? Let's give him some alone time. Let him think about why he's in here. Okay. Travis will kill you. Okay. We should grab our stuff. We need silver ammo. He must have some around here. Oh my god, don't make me look around for this shit. What is it? I thought I heard someone. It's coming from behind that door. So like a fucking demon heart. There's nobody in here. What the fuck? He makes them. What is it? Shotgun shells. He loads them with silver. That's where he was last month hunting. Well, I guess he won't be needing us anymore. Hey. I just realized something. We're free. <laughs> not until Chris is dead. No, Max. We're not free until Chris Hackett is dead. And it doesn't look like we've got much time. I know, you're right, but... Let's just take the win for now, huh? We'll celebrate when it's over. We're going straight to Hackett's quarry, and we're ending this. Tonight. Watch where you aim that fucking gun, dumbass.
And I made my way here, to camp. Left Max at the island. Seemed like the best place for him, surrounded by water and all. <sighs> oh, and <laughs> That's it. I let him That's out. That's the story. <laughs> and I'll jump in at the same time. <laughs> Emma's dead. <laughs> after you saw me at the pool, after I <laughs> shot Chris, um, I went back to the island expecting Max to be back to normal. <laughs> Max killed her. It, it, I, I think so. I'm pretty sure. He was a werewolf surrounded by water, trapped in there. Pretty sure Max killed her. Oh, and she's gonna go check out. Oh no. <laughs> Max, where are you? Max? <laughs> she's gonna find the corpse. Maybe this is the past? Max? <gasps> Hello? So the werewolf I killed can't have been Chris. That wasn't a werewolf. It was Haley Hackett, Chris's daughter. Whatever I shot, that was no girl. <sighs> Unless, I, I guess, it turned back after I shot it when I went to the island. Wait, so how come Max didn't kill you? Show bite. Uh, hide the bite. He tried. I was faster. Oh, shit. Fuck. We don't have much time. Okay. Who the fuck? <laughs> oh. Oh. So this is our new gas. <laughs> Smell good, don't I? Go on. Take a bow. Go on. <laughs> Dumb fucking animal. Hmm. Ah, fuck. 
I'm sorry, I got no cards. Next time for sure, though. It's always nice to see you. Isn't it fun delving into the past? They're a bad lot, aren't they? Shall we have a look at what you found? Ah, uh, I'm s Nothing mm. to show, nothing to see. What more do you want me to say? Find the cards or stumble around in the dark. Choice is yours. You'll be seeing me a few more times before the night's over. I look forward to that, as long as you follow the right path, of course. Chapter eight. Where is Chris Hackett? Shut up, bitch. Rude. <laughs> Guys, she murdered Kaylee. We'd have been over this. Commanding. I said shut up. You've done enough talking. Okay, so you talk. Say what you gotta say. You, Ryan, maybe this is a bit much. I mean, just think about everything that's happened tonight. Mm. I'm not letting her kill Chris. No way. Not, not over some old-timey poem. It's not just the poem, though. It's everything. The kidnapping, two months locked up, her, her boyfriend bursting into a thing. Like what happened to Nick. The longer we sit around questioning her motives, the longer Nick is out there. Jacob, Emma, we're all in danger. I believe her. This is what Shut she has up, to do. Shut up, Abby. Don't move. Your wrist. Stay away from her, I'll shoot. Silver, right? Uh, yeah. May I? What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm trying to help. Worst case scenario, this should give you a fighting chance. And this will kill them? For good? Yeah. But what if it's Nick or someone? Like I said, worst case scenario. Ryan, put that fucking thing down before you hurt someone. So, come on. Where does Chris Hackett live? When he's not at camp, I mean. What makes you think I know? What makes you think I know that? Uh, you guys are counselors, right? You've spent the last two months here? He's not in the storm shelter. I'm clearly getting nowhere hunting him in the woods. I need a place to start. I think that spooky house behind these woods. Dude! What? Sarcastic. Have you thought about, you know, not killing him? I'm thinking about not killing you. What? Look, when the sun comes up, I am stuck until the next full moon. So is Max, so is anyone else he's bitten. How is that our problem? Why don't you ask your friends in the woods? And don't forget about Nick, dude. Yeah, dude, bro. Okay, any clothes I'm gonna have to spray you two with cold water. Ryan, let's just get out of here. I'm running out of time. If I can't find Chris Hackett, then a lot more people are going to get hurt. It's a nice, cool iPad. I'm going though. with you. What? what? Uh, what? yeah, what they said. No way you're going alone. There's no way I'm letting a murdering fugitive like you go anywhere near Chris on your own. Wow, are you flirting with me? What? No. Fine, do whatever you want. You saw what happened to Nick. He was bitten. Everything's gonna be fine. That cop car you stole, where is it? 
ditched in the lake? Why? It was a stolen cop car. You're gonna have to try and fix the minivan. Get somewhere safe. How long do you have? An hour or two? I don't know. It doesn't seem like an exact science. Then we better get going. Are you sure this is the right way? Pretty sure, yeah. Pretty or definitely? What do I look like, a tour guide? Inquisitive. Have you actually been there before? I mean, no. Wait, seriously? I know as much as you do. How well do you know Chris Hackett? Mr. H, pretty well. Like you're pretty sure we're going the right way? When I first came to camp, I was going through some personal shit, and Mr. H helped me sort it out. He's a good guy. You don't know him like I do. You don't know him at all. Okay, okay, jeez. God. Your pet. Jeez Louise. Why are you like this? <laughs> I should ask you the same thing. What do you mean? Why are you really here? I can't let you just shoot him. I'm not going to. I'm going to shoot a werewolf, which he definitely is, is by the way. Is not. Is too. Cope. It's not. Jesus. <laughs> is not. That moon looks ridiculous, like. That is way too close. There it is. Hack your house. So he lives in some redneck mansion with his redneck family in the ass crack of the woods? Look at this place. No, but it's where his mom lives. It's I too. Think. Never been there. But if we're looking for answers, it's probably the best place to start. So, uh, wait, how do we get there? What do you mean? How do we get to the house? That's a really good question. Maybe we just don't. Will you stop protecting him? Whose side are you on? At this point, I have no fucking idea. There is a lot more to this than you realize. Like what? Kidnapping. Murder, cover-ups. I think the whole goddamn Hackett family is in on it. Maybe the whole camp, maybe even you, for all I know. Yeah, great. Just walk away. Oh, I'm sorry. I just figured that instead of standing around listening to you complain, I'd actually try to find Ooh, another way across. I was gonna say, like... They land on anything but water, they die. That's a steep fall right there. Fuck! Ugh. That's gonna leave a mark. Laura? Are you hurt? The water is so Sorry. fucking weird. Oh, I could have died. We, we could have died, but we didn't. It's nothing, you'll be fine. And you don't look delicious to me yet, so I guess that means we still have time. Come on, let's find a way up. That's not funny. It's a bit funny. Oh my God, Laura. Jesus, Mary and Jazz Hands. Here's a thought. What are you doing? Relax. Look. What big eyes you have, Grandma. No shit. What? 
Can you see yellow in my eyes? Define yellow? <laughs> oh, shit. We haven't got much time. That's kind of cool, though. Like, if you could pause the werewolf process and have yellow eyes, you'd be, like, super badass. Like, in, like, the BDO character creation screens. Oh, shit, imagine if you could have, like, one yellow eye, one red eye. You're, like, a demon. That'd just be so epic in anime. <laughs> Did you hear that, too? It's her. Who? The hag. The hag gets quarry. <laughs> it's like she's warning us off. Oh my god. Or guiding us. This place is not up to code. I mean, if the code is literally crumbling to the ground, then I think it's doing fine. Let's just keep moving. Yeah. The f just what Careful. the fuck? Jeez. It's gonna show me a card. Any second now. Oh, never mind. Just look at this place. Oh. Are you kidding me? Body. Like, the thing about like only some skill checks and some choices matter. Some choices oh, do boy, matter. This is high. But God, Whoa. it's crazy how many of them just don't. Like actually don't matter. Do you think, actually, something is in here with us? Either that, or this route isn't as disused as we thought. Yeah, I guess it just keeps down. players active, it's true. I mean, as long as some of the choices matter, it's like... That's the important thing. So what's your deal then? What do you mean? The whole mysterious brooding loner thing, it doesn't quite fit with the I love my camp leader vibe. So I don't fit into the right box, is that what you're saying? And what box would that be? Nothing, forget it. Do you always do that? Do what? Uh, start to engage in a conversation and then just immediately recoil into your shell. Maybe I don't want to talk to you anymore. Oh, wow, charming. I am assuming you're single? Yeah, why? No reason. <laughs> Bitch. This way, I see a light. Yeah. Or you can just hang out here, up to you. Thanks for your help. You had it under control. Ah, oh, fuck. Whoops, my bad. No, no. Ah, there we go. Controls are weird sometimes. It's they kind of reverse on me. Ooh, 
Ooh, something's lighting up over here. Careful. Splinters. Thanks. I'm fine. Guess we found the party. Alcohol. From Prohibition. These are rum running tunnels. That would make that liquor almost a hundred years old. Probably still good. Good. Try vintage. Well, I guess the hackets were bootleggers. That makes sense. I guess when the quarries are done, they branched out. Come on. Time travel later. All right. Okay. GG's. I am done for the day. My attention span is gone. But I'll pick this up tomorrow. This is a good stopping point. I'm at the good part. Good. That means I'll be happy to play it tomorrow. One hour left. Unlucky. Tension span's gone. Uh, I'll play it tomorrow. Hey, thank you all so much for watching. That's it. Um, so GG's. Bada bing, bada boom. Tomorrow I've got like a short stream as well. So, because I have to go to my mom's. Yeah. All right. Hey. Thank you all. Uh, have a great night. Thank you for watching. I'll be on tomorrow. Peace out. Bing, bing, bong, bong, boop.